evening. I'm Eric Sawatsky. I'm the developer on the Deviant the Renegades line. I'm running a Deviant game for my uh, tabletop group. Uh, just going to introduce myself for ourselves. Jake playing Steve. Rachel playing Tamsin. Mark playing Solomon. Noel, I'm playing Benji. Hey. And we are on our fifth episode, which is titled X Club, um, as in X Wife in this case, um, and X other things potentially. Um, do we have, Rachel, did you take any, happen to take any quotes or anything of that oh. nature last week? Yeah. Let's let's start the way we we usually start our tabletop sessions, which is what what weird things were said during the game. Let's see. Our All right. Silly one. Hey, I cause chaos too. Yeah, but it's social chaos. If I need a first date wrecked, I'll totally call you. You think we can get into the plot? You believe in us? There's it still a. Still does too. <laughs> Thanks for your faith in us, Eric, that we will <laughs> There's a raccoon living in your wall? Yeah, but he's been there longer than I have. How long <laughs> have you been living there? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to Google my name plus serial killer to see what I find. <laughs> Am I a serial killer if dot 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 autocomplete sounds like a fun game? <laughs> out of curiosity <laughs> is the restaurant really a texaco or a bp no <laughs> a small phone family restaurant connected to a texaco i'm just going to warn you i'm going to put this nozzle in my mouth and i need you to tell me when it hits 20 because that's all i have on <laughs> <laughs> oh poor abby <laughs> oh, my pencil is wedged darn it Gap. I just put that in because it was the only thing I had that I could write on. And now my pencil is wedged in the pencil holder and I can't get it out to charge. Yeah, there. All right. All right. So just sort of summarize what we were up to last session. Where people's things are going. Um, you discovered that your buddy, Gary, Gary yeah, Gary, oh. yeah, is going to be moving into the Jones's old home with oh, his three daughters. We haven't wrecked that yet. We yeah, still need to wreck that. That was, that was one of the things that you were, had on your, on your to-do list was wrecking, wrecking the home inspection. <laughs> Yes. So that he doesn't move in. Um, other things that were brought up were uh, the uh, the surveillance on Karen's uh, computer, so that if, she, if you sent a uh, document retention notice to her, or had uh, uh, had Zechariah send a document retention notice to her, saying don't delete any hidden files, um, and uh, so that's being monitored and might come up later. Um, Steve was thinking about visiting his uh, his ex-wife, well, one that's still alive in, in an asylum or some sort of institution where she was sent and has been living since the divorce. Um, yeah, that could get interesting. Uh, and yeah, then... We'll interesting and then we'd also uh, talk about chasing down gene i think gene yep this is correct that is, he has also come up to come up in conversation as as someone that uh, you might want to locate and work over who is gene again gene's the, the guy. former caretaker guy oh right okay Okay, um, just getting, doing some logistical stuff real quick. Uh, as of right now, yeah, that hates the 
and hates it in the face. There's one, one beat in the beat jar, which, which sounds like something much worse than it is. Um, <laughs> Meetings will happen until the beat jar is filled. Just like, I mean, like, 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 what was it? Um, collective punishment is banned by the Geneva Conventions. Every time someone misbehaves, you put a beat in the beat jar. And when the beat jar is full, someone the beat gets jar. beaten. Yeah. yeah. That's. Every yeah. time Steve gets married, we've put a beat in the beat jar. <laughs> oh. Oh. We don't know what's happening jar. there. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's okay. According to the pattern, your sixth wife will live. She'll outlive you. It's okay. It was assuming I'm still George the Sixth. Is that what we're doing? Henry the Eighth. 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 Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it's hilarious. He will not be in charge of English history. <laughs> Just remembering, remembering many, many, many years ago when you were looking at grad schools and like had like off the charts ridiculous. Oh my gosh, math numbers and your like verbals were not that. And, there was some comment about it being the advantages and disadvantages of being a counting vegetable. That was Ian. That was Ian. That was, <laughs> that was definitely Ian. Yeah. Definitely. That Ian. sounds like an Ian thing. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. It's okay. We don't expect you to, to have a vast encyclopedic knowledge of English history. I don't have a vast encyclopedic knowledge. Of Which is good. Um. How are people's instabilities looking? Do we have a bunch uh, of everyone cured or, I mean, do I have to start like, yeah, I, I am pretty low on instability, honestly. Oh, okay. I've, I've been, been here for, for three, three sessions. sessions. Yeah. I still have one, the one major from the very first session that's been the Maybe last one mean? to heal because I thought it went to a funny place. So. <laughs> I have yeah. the major and two minors still. I'm sorry, major. Yeah, major. Major? No, medium, right? Medium is what you yeah. start I'm sorry, uh, hold on. I don't know. X. X yeah, is your I, medium. Majors yeah, are I, asterisks. Moderate? We moderate, have, we yes. have the, the... Okay, the, you're right, moderate. <laughs> sorry. Not major, in other words. That's the, that's the key point. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was thinking major and minor. It's major, moderate, minor. Right. Yes. Okay. Three levels. Okay, whatever Not that middle levels. level is, I have one of those. Yeah, I mean, if you want to call them, if you want to call them bashing, lethal, and aggravated, I, I'm not going to. Okay, maybe I will stop you. It's a, I have a dot of lethal instability that is um, tied to involuntary lethal stimulus. I think that would be funny. That's all. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, all right. I did not have a loyalty touchstone in our apartment complex, so I've had much less opportunity to heal it. Yeah, that's true. Lethal instability sounds like it should be the name of a flaw or something like that. <laughs> for this case. Or, or a band. Or a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. The deviant, deviant punk band. Um, all right, so uh, reviewing aspirations that I have listed for you. Um, Tamsin has sabotaged the condo. Um, Hold that specifically. Um, the, I know. John, yeah. Aries. Yeah. Um, Benji has fine gene and Soul has fine gene. Yeah, we were going to go after him. Yeah. And then Steve has find out if the rumors are true and possibly find your, li your last living ex wife. Yeah, I think we might have to go do that if there's time. Yeah. Well, uh, did we decide all of these uh, things before we got our last scene? <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure that we have something a little, perhaps, more pressing. Uh, do we know about that yet? Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, oh, because you woke up get? in the middle of the night. Oh, that's over. right. The oh you yeah. You seem to dream Name about it or Oscar? something. Milo. What was this that guy's name? William. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, getting all. <laughs> oh, did we have a dream? I don't... Yeah, we, so yeah, we had a dream. Like... We. We had a dream like that a dream. he got moved. Mm -hmm. well, he was projective telepathying. Yeah. yeah. He either just got moved or he got moved way upstairs. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. 
most likely moved way, way upstairs. Yeah. Well, no, probably not. <laughs> um, he got kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. As per their problem. normal procedure. <laughs> yep. So it is currently Tuesday, July 7th in the morning. The last you time have had behind. very upsetting dreams about, uh, about <laughs> William's fate. Uh, I'm going to text everybody and ask if we can meet up right away. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, everybody just come to my apartment, all right? Okay. Hey, quick question, Eric. How long do we have until the inspection was supposed to take place? Is it taking place today? Uh, it's on Wednesday. And Wednesday is... Today is... Today is Tuesday? Okay, so it is happening yeah, it's Tuesday, tomorrow. so Tuesday. it's happening it's tomorrow. Okay. I'm calling in sick to work. Okay. I have a lot to do. Not a lot of time to do it. Ah uh, yes, time to travel down this road of modern, all, uh, of uh, modern uh, horror games. When your characters start out with a, a job, and, a, and by the end of it, they're more off work than. All right, to Benji's place. Um, when everybody uh, finds their way into my place, uh, you see that uh, uh, I. Don't I don't actually have a lot of furnishings in my uh, in my apartment, um, but there is a uh, what looks to be some kind of uh, car engine that has been entirely de disassembled and is being degreased uh, in my living room. Mm -hmm. Ah, just, just so you know, um, when I show up, I have my cat. Okay, in a carrier. In a carrier. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the, you know, we all have, uh, my apartment is really well furnished if we want someplace uh, comfy to do this. Oh, we're already here. I go sit down. All right. Hey, uh, so, do you, okay, so the, I don't know how to say this, but I had some really weird dreams last night, and I think that they might have been real. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did, I agree. Did, did anyone else have that happen? I, uh, I, I, I feel really weird so. about this. <laughs> if it involved yeah. our uh, telepathic friend, I don't think it was a dream. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seemed awfully real. Okay, I think he got kidnapped, and uh, he hasn't been answering his phone. I thought my cat could help, so I brought him. What your your cat? Yeah. Well, in case we find him, sometimes he makes me feel better. Okay. All right, lady. Uh, <laughs> I haven't introduced you to my cat, I realize. No, no, you have not. Um, what a nice kitty. I, I poked my finger in through the... The pheromones thing is we understand it like it talks or something, right? Your cat talks. My cat we smell under, talks. We understand it, <laughs> right? Am I am I remembering that the correct way? Yes, it, yeah. it has the means of communicating with you and understanding what you're saying. Whether it actually chooses to respond, of course, it's another matter. Because it is a cat. Yeah. <laughs> correct. This was some healing abilities. As I it also has the healing. Yeah. I brought the cat because of the healing, not necessarily because <laughs> I don't have a first aid kit. Thank you, kitty. No, well, but we would we treat it like a human. Yes, you do. Like we don't even think it's a cat. Yeah, pretty much. Like 
I mean, were you at least, um, yeah. At least when it, it uh, when it chooses to. Yeah. Yeah, because that's something you have to manifest, I think. Right? Yeah, because they don't have scars, so they're persistent versus not. And I mean, sure, it could do it all the time. But again, cat. Um, all right. Makes an interesting method of like, you could use your manticore as a translator because it can understand everybody. <laughs> yeah. And communicate with Wait, everyone. your cat speaks German? <laughs> it speaks. No, it speaks. German speak smell cat. the uh, speak <laughs> the universal language. That is the universal language. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, William uh, kidnapped. Yeah. What 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 do we do? I mean, shit. I I feel kind of responsible. Uh, for you know, it, I kind of think that it's because he's him a target. Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, he was already part of the lawsuit and all, but they didn't know that. Uh, and we kind of we kind of set him up to take this by. I I didn't think that that uh, that it was that it was there yet, but shit, it's true. We really Should have we to do, do something. something. Obviously, Abby does have abilities from what I could see in that vision. Oh. Yeah. And they, yeah. They've got her under heel, for sure. I don't think she's a willing participant, though. That, no. That's kind of what it looked like to me. But they've got the control. We don't know what they do or where they take these people from here, though. Yeah, see, that's the thing is I, I don't I don't know. It would be one thing if we had any idea where to find him, but I think that's kind of the point: is that we don't. Well, shit. Let I mean, that's got to be our next play. Then is to figure out where they're taking these people, because um, I mean, they're going to sell him, and then we'll never be able to find the guy. <laughs> Yeah. I could uh, call my police buddy and let them know about like a missing person, and maybe they can start some things, uh, you know, mundanely or whatever. Usually, though, they have to be missing for at least twenty-four hours. Well, also just there's something going on. Yeah, just FYI, out of character. Um, remember that he does have telepathy, and he does have the means of communicating with you from a distance. Uh, Cephalus has a similar ability. Cephalus and a coactive have similar abilities in the, that they can boost their uh, their uh, variations temporarily. So he can make contact with you again. And it is something that I think that I, I had planned as a means of revealing these events that are going on um, not at Serendipitous Gardens, but within the, the larger web of pain. Oh. Yeah. He's a, he's a MacGuffin, always has been. <laughs> Abby's the one you guys fell in love with. That was that was not really my fault. But. <laughs> it's because it Abby was. has made her a loyalty touchstone or whatever. Well, she yeah. didn't start as I a wasn't loyalty trying. touchstone. I'm but just, no. in Steve is just not good at being one. mean to people. <laughs> he's like the worst at being passive aggressive <laughs> ever. You would not make a good Midwest. Except that apparently I might be a serial killer. There's Except you might be a serial killer. Yeah. Well, if you are, you've changed, at least temporarily. So Yeah. At I least mean, temporarily. You said you had raccoons <laughs> in your wall. You don't have any dead bodies in there. That I, I mean, that's know. maybe that's what the raccoons are doing. <laughs> <That's what's insane. laughs> Disposal. Instead of pigs. Raccoons. Yep. <laughs> Why not pigs? Well, the pigs wouldn't fit in the wall, so there are right. more raccoons. Pigs don't fit in the wall, of course. <laughs> All right. Um, but speaking of, since we don't really know where he could be, but maybe Gene does. Well, we, we, who told? No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> You don't think Gene, he knows what? No, because uh, 
wait, who's the who's the other guy? Uh, Brandon. Brandon told me Gene is not part of it. Oh. Wait, how can he not be? Well, he's. Yeah. I mean, he's he's part of. He, he's not part of their group. He okay. he kind of came with the building. Oh. No, that fits. I've definitely tried to have conversations with that guy before, and he uh, it did not work. He came, no. Is he part of the building? No. Uh, he, is the building alive? Well, see, yeah. that's what I thought, but... Is the, the building alive? For, Good lord, are you trying to keep me awake at night? Well, it's not the weirdest thing that would have happened in the past 24 hours, okay? Well, it's you the did weirdest already, thing I remember happening. You did already find out that the surveillance is pretty tight. Yes. Yeah, we did. Which, I don't know, is why I brought my cat, because... I don't know. Who questions a person who brings a cat everywhere? What a geeky. Actually, kitty. probably plenty of people, but. That thing's going to bite you. <laughs> oh, it'll let you know if it's unhappy, trust me. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Doesn't matter. This is Bjorn. No. Just don't let him out of the carrier, okay? There's, like, shit that probably would poison a cat. I, I don't know shit about animals, so. Like, if you tell him that it'll kill him, he won't go after it. He's pretty intelligent. Dude, cats don't understand you. Yeah, no, he's right about that. I tried talking to a cat once, too. It did, that, that went about as well as Gene. Okay, maybe my cat is special, or else I'm special in that I can talk to cats. I don't know, but I'm not convinced that your friends are special. And that licks itself. Oh, that was the cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's beautiful. Licks himself, rather. Oh, been calling okay. it. Okay, I was gonna say, there's someone else in this room. <laughs> uh, who? That wasn't a voice, by the way. At least not like in a in the sense of like. You know, something that you could have recorded, but it was something that you just sensed. Almost like a telepathic thing that I played. What the fuck was that? Bjorn? No, that wasn't that weird. Oh, good. Okay, so it's not me. <laughs> it's Bjorn. <sighs> your, your, your cat has superpowers, too? It's a mammal. <laughs> Being a mammal is not a superpower. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Oh shit! Maybe Thank the you for that contact. Superpowers. <gasps> Do you the have raccoons? superpowered raccoons? Oh, Eric, make it be that way. Yeah, no, I. There's not really <laughs> raccoons living in the wall. That I I made that up. Raccoon was the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> yeah, they, they, this place doesn't even have rats. I don't know. My personal headcanon has superpowered raccoons in your walls now. So, congratulations. <laughs> well, congratulations. I just figured out how I'm going to uh, sabotage the uh, uh, the apartment complex. Wait. Well, you just get me in the room, and I'll uh, mess it up pretty good. Yeah, but but you have to like be there when you do it, right? <laughs> yeah. I suppose we could, like, hide you in a closet or some shit. Just open the door. Well, there's lots of surveillance. They'll see you going in and out. That's what Benji does. I, I guess I suppose. I haven't flown Benji Airlines or Benji Transport or, or whatever well, I don't it know is. Specific. Well, yeah, he could do those things, but, I mean, also just... Mm, He's been messing with the building stuff for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a raccoon spigot somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you just say the words raccoon and spigot <laughs> in the same sentence? Well, shit, I don't know. <laughs> just, just to clarify. Because it wouldn't be so weird that would be out of the realm of possibility. But you're saying this metaphorically, right? 
You don't I mean, actually it, think there's a what's liberal a metaphorical raccoon. No, a metaphorical spigot. Not... <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're the one who was making. I'm not sure that the shape of what the raccoons come out of is the part that I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm just saying that after your waffle maker, an actual legitimate Pancake raccoon yeah. coming out of a faucet would not be out of the realm of a possibility because apparently we live in crazy town. So we should sue. <laughs> yeah. Look how well that's working for William. <laughs> that's a brilliant idea. I don't know why none of us thought of it. <laughs> With an idea like that, you're definitely not a serial killer. <laughs> God damn. All right. Uh, where where were we? before the cat started talking? I'm not sure talking was the right word. Uh, um, communicating. Let's go with communicating. Fuck. Uh, d why is this world so goddamn crazy? It's 2020, man. It's just something fucked up about this year. Oh. <laughs> At least there's not a global pandemic. That would be terrible. Uh... What made you come up with that? I don't know. I just... Over conspiracy years, so. websites are all about you know what if it happens it could come from anywhere some somebody eats a baboon Lovely. or some shit and then China. yeah just don't eat any of the raccoons in the raccoon spigot all right all right uh don't know where that spigot's been i tried it. all right well, no we established this previously that you tried making raccoon pancakes. No, that I tried the raccoon. <laughs> to make sure it was a pancake. This was episode oh, yeah. one, Rachel. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I, okay. I don't know if the wall raccoons are a different genus and species from the <laughs> waffle raccoons. Carry different diseases than the ones that come out of the pancake mixer maker. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoonus pancakes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they smell like maple syrup. So Benji is is gonna mess up the condo, and um, and we're gonna do the get the police looking for William? I, I was just going to give him a call or text and say, hey, we got a bud. He's missing. Suspect there might be something foul going on. Here's his name. Okay. What do we do about about the lady at the front desk? Abby? Abby? Yeah. Um, I think the best thing for Abby would be that we don't give her any information that could hurt her. Yeah. I'm worried about her hurting us. Yeah. Well, okay, but it would hurt her to hurt you. So I, my I original know. statement stands. Yeah, but it would hurt me more, and I don't <laughs> give a shit about her. <laughs> if, the if, point if is... It hurts her, it doesn't matter. The point is... Now we establish who has her as a loyalty touchstone and who does not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know I know some of you guys like her, but... Uh, she's good people. Okay. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's good people. She just... She's like <laughs> us. It's that she apparently just has like a switch that they can control her with. Which makes her not very good. Well, okay. It's not her fault. I was. I, she I got don't more think messed you up than we did. Philosophically held responsibility, responsible for the doing. If if you're used as a tool, it's not like you're saying, yeah, I, "Okay, I'll do it." She doesn't have a choice. Okay, the college, are like bad. <laughs> Therefore, okay, I'm worried college. about it. Well, I'm not saying we should tell her. I'm just. <sighs> well, okay. Hey, hey, listen. listen. 
listen to me for a second. You think she's I good people. Yeah. This this gives us a this gives us an opportunity to find out exactly what kind of people she is. Because she, uh, she don't on, know we on. know. I said she was good people, but she is also an easily taken advantage of person. So she's a good person, but she's also a potential weak spot due to, I mean, she had the same thing happen to her, okay? It's- And they got her and now she's taking out the rest of us at their command. But not because she wants to. But she is still doing it. So we don't tell her. I want to figure out how to get her free of this. Yeah, I too. say that we she should take her with us a, on our way out. I say that yeah. she doesn't get to be trusted until she tells us what happened. No, I'm fine with not giving uh, her information. I'm just saying when we blow this joint, she's coming with us. She can't Next leave, time, I guess. Well, that depends. Right now, she can't leave, but maybe by the time we're done, maybe she can leave. We also don't know anything about her condition. No, we don't know, if they we don't know why she can't leave. I'm well, gonna defend myself we, and you guys. I mean, I don't, I think she physically can leave, but they've got, they've got, they've got her family to use against her oh that's right plus and, and also the full name invocation yeah as, that's yeah. the big one that is like immediate leash control but we we know her full name also you do now because yeah. of william So we just don't tell her about this part, but we tell her when it's something that she, I, I think she's need to know. If she doesn't need to know, she doesn't need to know. Because she can be made to tell. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, she can't be on the inside, but she's she likes us. She's not doing this because she wants to. Yeah, whichever philosophical view you're taking, the end result is the same. That we take her with us. Yes. And maybe we find her sister. And yes. William. And, and William. William. Maybe they're even the same place. That's a thought. Ooh. However many other people were taken from this. Oh, well, yeah. We've, we know some other people who have been taken from here. Like... The John... Like... Someone else should be doing this part. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, I got a list, right? Uh, or, or a list of potential people who have probably been taken or escaped, maybe. I mean, we know that some people escaped, right? Do we know that some people escaped? Yeah, yeah, because, because, uh, because, uh, 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 shit, how do we know that? Maybe we don't know that. Maybe we're just hoping that. <laughs> Maybe that shit we know out of character, sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh. When it's two weeks between play sessions, it's nice to have a character who doesn't remember everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's easier for you. Well, yeah. Yeah, Eric, <laughs> on the list of, uh, uh, of former people that lived here was there a field mm -hmm. uh in the in the spreadsheet about like you know what happened to them or whatever or no this is the this is the public spreadsheet as it were this is the one that they don't I mind see. if it gets out because you want to know which ones were like changed and sold off rather than just decided that uh the screams from two doors down were just too much um that would that would require access to you know some kind of hidden or secret. The assumption is if if there was you know people who were living here in a while and didn't get changed, that they just got shuffled off in like nor to normal life somewhere else, right? 
Uh, I don't think we know anything about where people go after we leave here. Oh, hey! There is people who were changed through their kidnapping or whatever somewhere else yeah. in the system. There's hey, people yeah. who have not been changed but no longer are here. My question is, do we know if they just left or whatever, but in more mundane ways? Yeah, I don't think we know anything about that. Hey, hey what what time is it? Um, oh, I can do that one. Is it 8 o'clock yet? <laughs> sure, 8 a.m.? Yeah. Okay, hey, uh, I'm going to... Uh, li listen, so let's say you're an evil organization, right? And you did some kind of middle-of-the-night kidnapping shit. I don't um, think I've ever done that before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I love how there's now some hesitancy in the voice about whether that was something you actually think. Uh, yeah, and then so when office hours start or, or normal work hours start the next morning, what's the first thing that you do if you're some evil, you know, bureaucratic bullshit organization? Require Copy. the peons to be on their desk. Well, sure, but but the the boss has got to be at her desk too, right? Yeah. Get coffee because you're tired from being up kidnapping people. Yeah, and after you get your coffee, you're gonna Cackle. log onto your computer and go fill in your goddamn spreadsheet filled up with what what you did to people. Oh, oh Check yeah. Uh, are, isn't one one of us is supposed to be watching that? Aren't we? No, no. The law firm's taking care of that. Oh, that's right. The law firm. Maybe All right. We should so call we go them. to the law firm and we find out what the box says. Yeah. Well, uh, how about if I call, uh, just, I'll, I'll just call him right now and uh, tell him that we, we think that it's, it's going to happen. It's going down. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were going to try and, uh, you know, scare her into accessing her shit, but maybe she'll do it by, her, by herself. Hearing her? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, I'm going to call a law firm and see if I can talk to. Uh, uh, well, did did they tell us the, the 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 person's name who was watching it? Uh, Poppy. probably, but like I don't really feel like pulling the name generator. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll just. It's not. It's not something important. It's just like, you know, a, a batch of, of various interns and other. Sure, like, sure, sure. <laughs> Okay, well, so I'm just going to call and ask for uh, ask for my attorney then, and uh, see if he, see if see if he'll talk to me. Oh yeah, give me good news. Uh, well, no, it's shitty news. It's the worst. Oh. Um, but there's there's an upside. Uh, let me tell you the bad news first. Uh, William. I think we, William got kidnapped in the middle of the night. Oh. Oh, that's... <sighs> I lose more clients like that. Okay, um, so... Uh, what's um, the good news? Well, the good news is, is that he used his ability to show us that it was happening, we think. <laughs> um, and so we, we saw it go down, and we know what happened last night. Um, oh, and okay. I think... I think that Karen is going to access her uh, her shit this morning. Oh, Let me just come over and go over and look. Ooh, oh, oh, you're right. Uh, she's not scrolling down, scrolling up, and it's at the very bottom of the spreadsheet. Um, there are some column labels that I can see. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay, um, just has the Jones on the on the one above, so it gets like. A Um, and then, yeah, um, pending uh, pending placement is is what uh, William's status is right now. Uh, so I'm there is close a right. status pending um, placement. But but we did manage to catch um, grab the the folder. Uh, so if you pop on down to the, uh, the law firm, uh, we'll review it together. Awesome! Great. Uh, we'll, we'll be there as soon as we can. Uh, see you then. 
But guys, let's 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 get the show on the road. Uh, we, we got we got shit to do. Yeah, we do. So Should we? Uh, we can't take a second to do the thing to the apartment. I mean, that doesn't happen until later day, right? Unless they move it up. Well, I mean, Karen's the one doing it. She's not there. She's on her computer. All right. Well, Karen, but why would Karen be doing the inspection? What? Karen's not involved. So Karen would necessarily be involved with the inspection. Yeah. yeah. There'd be a, a home also, inspector. Yeah. And also, someone who unlocked the door. Even if she was, though, uh, we know that Abby is involved. Abby can yeah, let can, her be there yeah. anyway. If she oh, right. had to be there. Right. Well, I don't know. Then, uh, uh, shit, I don't know. Maybe somebody's got to keep an eye out for it then. Uh, when was the last time a home inspector was on time? No way. Early? It's, it's not today. Like, oh. like today. Remember, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday is big just, day. Just in case they move it up because I don't know. Well, do we know where the condo well, that he's moving oh, into is? All right, yes. we can we can we can we can okay. table it for now. Yeah, yeah. You have uh, you have the list of of residents and such. Um, okay. And uh, so yeah, you know which one to take over to move out of. Yeah, let's go see what's in the file. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> so uh, we head down to the law firm and uh, walk in like we've got a mission. All right. Hey, Chris. Hello, Steve. All right, let's come this way. Now, here's the here's what we have found. Like the uh, we found a, a file folder that has like all of the files that were in that hidden drive we managed to scrape. However, um, there are a couple of them that are password protected that we don't have as much access. Like we don't we don't have the passwords for. Um, so we would still need the passwords for those. But I'm sure there's going to be some useful information in the in the ones that we did get. And uh, he leads you to actually a couple different computers because um, that way you guys can sort of work together rather than one person doing all the looking and everyone else over the shoulder. Um, and quickly determine that the unlocked files include lots of case files with personally identifiable resident information, um, redacted, or excuse me, personally identifiable resident information that is redacted, excuse me, um, that paints a picture of Ganondi Gap's experiments on uh, in certain different gardens. Are you ready for a little bit of backstory? Yeah. All right. Go for it. So Otis Dwight, a uh, scientist and former resident, um, first learned about the building's property several years ago when a neighboring condo, when the neighboring condo had seven different occupants in six months, um, with each one suffering a horrible, ha a horrible household accident that necessitated the closed casket, casket funeral. Um, other units seemed to produce different results, however. Um, and Otis eventually identified four condos that produced, well, what they described as deviants. Um, and the apartments that were, or the condos that were, uh, uh, were pretty consistent about producing uh, deviants were Souls, um, Williams, Abbeys, and Tamsons. Um, so together with a couple colleagues, he made a two-year study of the building and the broken it produced. Um, eventually, he hit upon playing matchmaker between the newly remade and various organizations looking to hire them. No. Um, each time a DV moved out, uh, building management would swiftly replace them with another resident providing Otis with a steady supply of human resources. Um, the business then developed to address two problems. First, it often took several months to, for a, a, the unit to trigger the divergence. Um, and when it did, the results were unpredictable. Uh, second, not every deviant resident wanted to accept the offers of the Gun Energy Gap Group partners. Um, as if in answer to the, their prayers to the gods of capitalism and human trafficking, that's a joke that they actually pray to the gods of capitalism and human trafficking. Um, 
Otis discovered that the building drew electricity from different sources of power, from cold and, and natural gas to geothermal, nuclear, solar, and wind, as well as stranger things like lightning. Um, further, uh, he learned that there was a connection between the source of the building's electricity and the divergences the building's condos triggered. By sabotaging the cables leading into the building, um, Otis was able to increase the number of units generating pre-made to eight um, from six, or from four, rather. Uh, by using hardball tactics as extreme as outright abduction, the Gnagagat group was able to ensure a steady output of assets to sell to other conspiracies. Now, convincing people to buy the vacant units be increasingly became a problem. Uh, eventually, the uh, existing management and their sales force were just having trouble overcoming the bad reputation that this condo building was having with a very high turnover, especially in these particular units. Um, and uh, it only got worse when one of their, a lot of their sales staff quit, including, um, well, that actually was a little later. Well, yeah, Brandon a little bit later, but he basically wasn't, wasn't working to try to sell those and was basically refusing to sell them anymore. Um, now, uh, Ganunga Gap movers move, grew out of the need to vacate condos quickly uh, without leaving them vacant long enough for um, the existing management to get concerned about its, uh, about keeping up appearances. Um, and that is when they met Dunk. Uh, he was not actually a resident, uh, current or former. Um, and he was recruited from one of Ginnungiap's partner firms, uh, from the ones that they were selling made to, uh, which would be resourcing, sourcing for made to, um, as uh, kind of be the, uh, their, their main enforcer on the movie group. Wait, uh, hold on. There's other people like us out there? Mm-hmm. Um, from what they understand, uh, the redundancy of the power cables is to ensure that there's redundancy to make absolutely certain the building never loses power. Um, something bad would happen if it lost power. Um, the Kanaga Gap group doesn't really know, doesn't specifically care um, what that horrible thing would be. Um, it's not likely to happen because, well, you know, they wanted to keep having power too. Um, because as far as they could tell, um, because uh, Ganaga Gap was already kind of helping sell these condos that were being vacant all the time, um, the former management uh, offered to sell it to them um, because someone wants that power to keep going and Again, get on your gap doesn't really care who or what, um, but now they own the building and they can do a lot of this stuff with impunity. Uh, they now have 12 special units that trigger comparatively safe and consistent divergences. Uh, the 13th special unit, the one that Otis first discovered that was uh, uh, causing residents to go out one at a time in body bags, um, never produced a, 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 a deviant no matter how many times they, uh, they tried to uh, fiddle with uh, with the inputs, um, and anyone who ever has moved in there just dies horribly. Um, just household accidents, all sorts of awful stuff. Um, so they, they even even they stopped trying to sell that particular unit to anyone because it was just futile, um, and it tended to lead to more questions and more rumors that they didn't really want to address. Uh, however. Uh, oh, and also they discovered that their surveillance equipment um, tends to go dead even faster than the resident um, when it's in that particular unit. And so it's always been sort of this dead zone where they really can't study what whoever's in there anyway. Uh, they never see the accidents that hit. Um, it's just, again, a waste of resources to put anyone in there. I wonder what would happen if I lived there. Just out of curiosity, do you live there? <laughs> ah, here we go. Um, Gnungi Gap had given up on trying to keep it occupied during the three years that they've owned the building. But Steve has lived in that unit for at least a year. Ha! They don't know exactly that when he moved live. in. The records are missing, much less how he has survived. And they don't know, know when I moved in. They don't know when you moved in, only that you've been oh, there for at least a year. Oh, for God's sake. 
Um, and uh, quality bookkeeping. They're, yeah, they're even entirely sure he wasn't a deviant before he moved in, but they've decided to make a lengthy study of him rather than selling him off for now. Um, oh, good. <laughs> That's good. Good news here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so hmm. Benji's condo is not one of the twelve. They don't know how what happened to him happened. You were definitely if you were actually a freak accident. Wow, as far as they're concerned, his your thing happened in the office. It thing. did. Jean's room, right? But they don't know that. <laughs> no. But you're a uh... see. This was supposed to answer questions. And I don't <laughs> think that it did that. Well, well it, it was information. Yeah. <laughs> What's information? And it explains, I mean, the, the power supply to this place was always weird. Yeah. The outputs you, from the power plant. You should were cut like the power and see what happens, says Lefty. What was that, Eric? Uh, Don't worry about it. It was for me. (laughs) Yeah, the the outputs to this one building were like way disproportionate for one, you know, apartment and condo building. And no one could explain it. Lovely. (sighs) It would explain some of the stuff that I've been seeing down in the basement. I could have kept on renting an apartment, but no, my parents said, invest in real estate. Well, at least we know it's not us. I, I should say, you guys know it's not you. It's it's almost certainly something to do with me, but uh, <laughs> the rest of you guys, at least, are out of the woods. Well, except they know that we live in apartments, or we, we, we purchased condos that are notorious condos, and we're, they probably uh, were farmed accidents, except for Benji. And we sort of you. Yeah. I'm guessing my my condo is one that started producing after they upped the. No, yours is one of the originals. One of the original four. Oh, you. Yeah. I didn't hear you say my name on that. I sold, sold, I was sold. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey guys, uh, shut up for a minute and come with me. Uh, All right. Hold on. Where are we going? Uh, downstairs. In Here's the it. law office? Oh, that's right. You were calling the law office. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, sure. We so are we're at, at the, the law. law. No, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Just, my bad. My bad. <laughs> we're, we're good. If you gap has surveillance here, you're doubly fucked. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> um, Is there. Hey, what, what one thing this does answer though is uh, there's one safe place in the apartment complex that we can talk without being heard. Uh, My apartment. He's no, uh, no. Yours is being heavily watched. You're no. here research. No, 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 no. They put they they said if you put surveillance in the apartment, then it gets all fucked up. Remember? Did no, they did. Yeah, they did. They can't surveil my apartment. Oh, I thought they that you said they were doing a lot of surveillance because you were a freak. I'm sure well, they are hi. very interested in what's happening in my apartment, but if they put any surveillance equipment there, it goes it 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 disappears. Or oh. something. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So that means that there's two spots because okay. uh, because apparently, if they don't know what how I start it, they can't see inside the the office either. The yeah, teams place. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Uh, but you're right. Your I, apartment's more comfortable. Yeah. I've got nice seating and Bollywood. And raccoons. There's no real raccoons, no raccoons. That, 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 I, that I know of. He made that I mean, up. Except for the Maybe. one that came out of the pancake uh, yeah, maker. There, there is the one that came out of the pancake maker that I shot with a rifle. But that's the only one that's ever been in my There's apartment. one raccoon. I'm just to saying... I'm not One just sleeping raccoon. the raccoons until I actually see the insides of your walls. 
Oh. Uh, I'm not sure I can help you with that. That that's fine. Also, are you sure you want to poke around in the walls of inside the walls of the murder apartment? I'm just going to point that out. <laughs> are you sure that's a thing you want to do? Wait. No, I didn't say I needed proof. I'm just saying, just so you know, I'm personally disbelieving you. I oh. I, I kind of <laughs> hanging out in your apartment. Does that mean we're going to be subject to all the murdering? Yeah, I was just kind of oh. thinking about that. <laughs> Wait. So, uh, do I have to worry about any, like, murder radiation from your condo? I'd That's... like to say no. I've been having people... But... Hold on. If... if uh, No, Karen didn't go. Abby went. Dude, I don't think Karen's stepping her foot in there. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, if Karen... That's probably why she sent Abby in the first say. place. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Might have an impact she... influence on it. Ooh. So. Uh, okay. I... We can learn here, or should we head back? <laughs> I, I, I guess we can meet in your place, Benji. Yeah, yeah in the so, office. I will maintain oh, that I, I, I think we would probably be fine in my apartment you would be fine you would probably uh that's true yeah i would the, be fine the info for william said pending placement which implies yeah. that he kept somewhere before they sell him to these companies that use our powers or whatever yeah zechariah yeah, you got any ideas um, Any way we could track that down? Telepathic powers? Well, yeah, but well, we don't know how long... He's got the telepathic powers. We don't know how long... Chris, down he's down he's he's old. Old. Come on, you're the lawyer, man. This is, what we're, this is what we're paying you for, maybe. Are we paying you? <laughs> I, I, I am. <laughs> or is he now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm paying him. I see he's I paying think. you. You think? He seems to be getting paid. Um, well, uh, if he's a telepath, as you describe. Yeah, but his power got shut off. We do don't know, we know how long that lasts? No. Permanent or whatever. Hmm. Permanent. Permanent. <laughs> And we that can't would... ask her how long it is because she's she'll tell on us. She won't tell on us. She'll only tell if asked. Yeah, I know, but still it's kind of the same thing. She's she's not the bad guy, but yeah, we I get it. All Karen's got to do is call her up on the phone and. I, and tell her, ask her her by a full name, and say, "Do you have anything you need to tell me?" And then, which is exactly the kind of that thing that Karen would say. None of us had any sort of like find stuff powers, right? No, yeah, that's not where your strengths are now. No, no. My my strength is in uh, yeah. getting into places unnoticed. What about? Your tool stuff, Benji. What don't about see it? There's stuff in Gene's office that can help find people. I don't know, dude. It's a it's a broom closet. Uh, I mean, it's a really big broom closet, but uh, was it like covered with the weird drawings of the innards of the weird building stuff? Yeah, I mean, if we can figure out what building they're in, then I might be able to work out where they're keeping them in the building, but uh, he didn't leave behind any weird you know tricorders or whatever in there. I think I would have noticed. I don't know. Here's what I can offer. It comes at a risk that the former management will notice um, and Perhaps take umbrage 
or send countermeasures. Um, but if I can get, if you can find out the building that he is in, I can find out exactly where within that building and give you basically a full blueprint of, of what's inside that building. Well, we don't even know if he's in the city. Yeah, okay. I mean, I might have an idea, but it's, I don't know, mine's kind of risky too. Wherever he's being held has got to be within their corporation, either directly or some other company they have close ties with, right? Probably. So we need to find out what all they own or who all they work with and who, uh, what, what properties they have. Okay. Ooh. I have and a... we could just, you know, get a map and say, well, here's buildings that are owned by Gununga Gap or the companies that work with Gununga Gap. Yeah, well, I don't know any legit people like that. My my girlfriend did the interior design for this place when they were remodeling it. You so know, her, her company worked with them at least uh, for a period of time. Well, worth the lead, man. We could get into their finances. Yeah, their public finances. We can't get into the secret one, and that's what we need. Well, but I mean, there there are companies that has to work with other companies, so there have to be contracts. If, if they're holding people, then there have to be contracts to like feed them, and it might. Some of the companies they end up working with might be just normal companies, and so have normal like documentation, paper trails, and so forth. That yeah. maybe well, they could have done a pancake be, maker. Completely yeah, I don't know. Just whole, go. the hole from point A to point B, but maybe you get half of this and half of this, and you can kind of fill in the rest. We just need delivery addresses. Things got to deliver places. Well, or or they could of, just have a pancake maker. It's a lot of sleuthing that Wait. I don't know if I'm very sleuthy. Hold on. Does your pancake maker find things? No, God. no. It well, just then, feeds people. You were just talking about feeding people, and they yeah. can do that with a pancake maker. Yeah. Okay. L listen. So hold on. I I don't know if this is going to help or not, um, but it just occurred to me that if if I if they don't know what I'm doing in that apartment. Maybe, uh, maybe I know what I'm doing in that apartment. You know, what? Uh -uh. Maybe, maybe I know everything that's going on in that apartment. Well, we've had encounters with you in and out of that apartment, and I haven't noticed a difference. So, well, are you saying dude, that what in do you the mean? apartment you know what's going on, or you know how to figure out how to find out what you know? No, no, I. I don't remember anything. I don't know shit. But I'm so, saying they don't know that. They just know that I popped up one day. So you're suggesting acting like you know things? Yeah. That sounds to me like the way that you end up getting speared off. I'm sure that Gap is to... curious. Yes, but Ganunga Gap is curious, but I don't know how curious they are about you to the point where they will not eliminate you if you start causing too much trouble. <laughs> Dude, um, I, 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 I know this is a, on your ass. I know this is like a maybe a bad idea, but have you thought about like getting hypnotized for some shit? Uh no. Do we know any hypnotists? Did, well, would, we can would hypnotism find. even work? on people like, I, mean, I don't know. Shit, I don't know. I mean, your brain is broke or whatever. Yeah. So then, maybe, find someone local who is good at that hypnosis memory stuff. 
and give it a try. What is your what is one of your superpowers there, Steve? Mindless. I'm mindless. mindless. No one can read his mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, technically, hypnosis isn't reading. reading minds. It's having uh, him get into his own mind. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, but. Yep. Yeah, I, I could, I could give that a shot. I guess. Uh, I mean, if you think you might know something, I. There are lots of things that I would be curious about as far as how I got here and whatnot. Uh, well, but... a biology textbook could probably help with some of that. A lot of missing information. The general yeah. how you've got here. Okay, so we let let's let's make a plan. Let's let's run let's run down some leads, all right? Uh, Saul, Saul go, go talk to your girlfriend. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if Anara can get me some info on whoever they dealt with when they were working here. Maybe there's some contacts where they have some information on like where funds came from, or I don't know. We'll see what she can get. Tamsin, you clearly went to college, so why don't you go down to the, I don't know, public records or some shit and see what you can figure out. <laughs> My superpower is I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nuclear physicist. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have a girlfriend, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love how, like, this is, like, the opposite of the usual gender assignment, like, or gender role assumptions like you just assume <laughs> that the girls know how to research and the boy well you'll have to yeah. find your girlfriend and get her to research it for you <laughs> it's it's boys you can you can go off and talk to the cops <laughs> i'm a progressive criminal <laughs> <laughs> i have two points in academics i would say I, I went to college but i was there on athletic scholarships so <laughs> So you're you're literally a football player. Uh, well, yeah, cross country. I, I, well, not like skiing, not not running. Cross country, not cross country, <laughs> which I've realized does not help because I don't think you're looking at a screen. <laughs> so. Oh no, I can see you. <laughs> it doesn't help, but I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make them bigger. Cross country. <laughs> Not cross country. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Steve, Steve, what are you going to go do? Are you going to go talk to your ex-wife or are you going to go eat your brain shrunk? Uh, that is a good question. Big one. Do it. Things? Uh... I was, to be honest, I I was kind of hoping that uh, that that someone could uh, could maybe escort me, just in case. I, I don't know. Maybe there's some reason that I can't remember all this stuff. Uh, escort you to I, I would talk hate to, to miss out. Wife. What? Escort you to talk to your ex-wife, or escort you to talk to a psychiatrist? Uh, escort him. Probably the just the. Yeah, probably just the ex-wife thing. I I don't I don't I mean, I guess I could pay someone. You know, I like to, a good train wreck. If you come with me to check out the records, I'll come with you to check out your ex-wife. All right, yeah. good, cuz Saul and that I need to good. track down Gene anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We we're going to do that and uh we've got some other things. Let's Maybe we can do that on the way back or something. Good plan. I, listen, uh, so I'll catch up. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I got some people that I want to go talk to too, just in just in case they got uh, something they can tell us about uh, about a different piece of this. So, uh, um, yeah, yeah. You you chase down your lead. I'll chase down mine, and then we'll go see if we can find Gene. Or I was say maybe we could do that. Well, I guess we don't know how long that's going to take. Yeah, I don't know. Because we don't know where he is. No. I see. That's harder. I was kind of hoping that uh, 
you know, there'd be some thing on the computer shit that would tell us where he is. But yeah, uh, like like you said, we got all kinds of questions and uh, uh, now and and not a lot of answers. Um, Just when- no matter what crazy stuff goes on today, we need to remember that tomorrow. Uh, Gary has a house inspection. That's the one. Yeah, tomorrow Gary has a house inspection that yeah. we need to mess seems, with. Seems so. much less important, but okay. Yeah, we got we also gotta find William, time. guys. He has kids, dude. Um, I don't know him. He's just a stranger. <laughs> just some guy named Gary who's moving in with some kids. guy named Gary with kids. Don't be heartless, Saul. You want to have that, a new that, That's me. Says that's the amazing. guy who's heartless. <laughs> I am heartless. Heartless and technically, mother. technically, I'm bloodless. I have a heart. It's just empty. Um, but <laughs> are there and other characters sizes the too of Oz small. that you are also? What? Yeah. Are so there I'm, other I'm characters from the Wizard of Oz that you also are. Well, he's not particularly so, brave. I'm bloodless, I'm I'm mindless, I'm painless, and I'm breathless. Breathless. Candles? That was the fourth one. Thank breathless. you. Are you how's your courage and do you like red footwear? Are you from Kansas? Red footwear seems very appealing to Steve. Because <laughs> that's how your shoes look home? after you've murdered someone. <laughs> 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 drop they were white converses before, but now <laughs> blood red chucks. Look at these pretty Sorry, red Jack. shoes. Yeah, and that's uh. why, because it's like I I go on one of my killing sprees. I I've got to have shoes that aren't going to get messed up by that, you know. So Crocs are go with my red suit. <laughs> Bring me my red shoes. Crocs and black socks. Okay. Yeah, Break. It, it just occurred to me that Marco, you've had some experience with this, perhaps. Yeah, I have. I have Crocs. <laughs> Why Jesus, they're, Crocs. they're easily washed. All right. <laughs> All right, Crocs. Murder tip for you, in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just for our audience, uh, Mark is a. He's a doctor. <laughs> he's a, oh <laughs> my God, he's a doctor. <laughs> just to be clear He's, he opens people up yes. professionally takes out, takes out their broken bars Legally. Yes, he sticks things they, they pay him to do it kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I can make being a surgeon sound this foreign but I guess I'm, I guess I'm there yeah <laughs> Yeah, not professional murderer. <laughs> <laughs> professional answer. Yeah, we hope we try. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're all we're all definitely never going to be politicians. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> Was this not clear by my description of surgeon? Yeah. Hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, oh, who wants to go first? <laughs> I'm going to go vote for them because I need a second to catch up. <laughs> okay. Them. All right. Them. And I oh, actually okay. need to use the restroom. He's so not me. Back. How about that? Yeah. He's not you. They okay. can go. All right. So, what are you guys going to do to try to try to find um, Gene? We're, we're we're not there yet. He can't come with for my part. <laughs> Oh, okay. What are you up to then? Uh, I have um, contacts criminal underworld oh, <laughs> through okay. my professional training. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, I don't know the downside of using uh, um, it, of using uh, uh, yeah, merits. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I'll subtle the, uh, the other ones. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I know your name. Yeah, obvious merits. Right. Um, 
I'm not coming up with the word either. Anyway, uh, so I am going to start making contacts with my criminal underworld to see if I can figure out uh, um, buildings that uh, shady businesses are using for kidnapping uh, and unholding people. <laughs> Because I don't know, maybe. <laughs> All right, give me a um, see. Presence plus or presence or manipulation plus streetwise. All righty. Uh, well, that's not a very good roll. Uh, at least I have a point of streetwise. Let's see what happens. Uh, zero. Okay. Well, uh, you do f find some buildings that are associated with human trafficking, but it seems to be mostly involving um, either illegal immigration or um, sex trafficking. Oh, right. hey, am I supposed to add my contacts to that? Uh, no, uh, contacts allows you, let me just double check, but I believe contacts just allows you to actually do it. I know I'm probably getting things mixed up with the other no, games. No, it's okay. Playing. It's really easy for us to do. We've been in so many games together. I mean, I, I played one session of Exalted Essence a couple weeks back, and remember last time we played, I like couldn't remember the number, the target number. Yeah. Nice when you asked yeah. me it, because it had it was a little different. Yeah. We're not alone in this respect. Yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, I think I'm on the right page. I'm just kidding there. Okay. okay. Yeah, it just depends on exactly how specific your. Um, like how close it is to what your contacts are good at. Sure. Um, this isn't particularly good anyway. Uh, I'll give you a two die bonus. What's that now? I'll, I said, I'll let you roll an additional two dice. Okay. Uh, Probably you'll get nothing if you get zero. It's just... Uh, well, I got two then, okay. actually. All right. Um, you find out that there appear to be uh, several kind of a, I don't know, you rather see, a lot of it's rumor. And again, a lot of it is just is really the mun mundane human trafficking rather than the, uh, the supernatural kind. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a needle in a haystack situation somewhat. Uh, but I don't know, you probably have a good eight or 10 different buildings that appear to be uh, kind of fit the bill. Okay. Well, maybe if somebody gets another list, we can cross reference and pin it down. Okay. Okay. That's, that's all I had. I thought. Yes. It's the Chronicles of the Darkness. I figured that there's um, probably not just you know, good guys. <laughs> <laughs> squirreling away people. Yeah. Let's let's not kick down the wrong uh, door and and uh, fight vampires. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Actually, sir, vampires are somewhat like capable of handling, sort of. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, what would be a lot worse? that would be squirreling away people. 
mummies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Very large, angry squirrels. Yes, where squirrels. Re like Reapers, pages. This would be fun. Yeah, okay. All about the human souls harvesting. Yeah, well, suckers, ours are broken. I know. So they have no reason to keep you alive. Yeah. Um, oh, well. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, okay. Um, Righty has been very polite while you do your contacts thing, but when you're done, he's like, you need to go into the Jones's apartment soon. What? You need to go to the Jones's apartment soon. I've got some stuff that needs to get done there. It's important. Like right now? The thing is until tomorrow. Just soon. And then he just sort of drops it for the moment. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do it soon. Fine. Uh, shit, just get off my case. Uh, I still I'm, think he should just cut through the, the main the power main and see what happens. Okay, how about this? If shit gets real bad, we'll try it, all right? Right? He's like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Anyway. Um, I can tell how this game is going to end. <laughs> <laughs> and the cautionary oh, tale? <laughs> as soon as you told me that, I was like, someday I'm doing that. <laughs> TPK becomes total world kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Hanson and Steve. You can just talk about public records first. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the things I was thinking of, I don't know if they'd be public record so much as they'd be um, private record. Hey, I, I'll give you a quick uh, a quick thing. Um, you you actually can like look up um, like uh, state corporation records and whatnot, like online, um, depending on what state it is. Um, I don't really specifically know anything about uh, Colorado. Yeah, but because okay. uh, uh, I, haven't, I haven't done that, oh. but I've done stuff with other states. And uh, like, you know, I've, in, you know, investigated apartment complexes and see who, who they owned or were owned by and stuff like that. So okay, like, there so is land, places you can do that shit. Land online. ownership. Yeah. So what I, I was thinking about, like trying to find food uh, distributors. <laughs> oh, I see. I got it. And but just no, for the I, benefit... Just for the benefit of the audience, Noel works in a law office. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> he doesn't just do this on his own time. A lot of researching records, stocking gas stations, you know, whatever. <laughs> but apparently, Tamsin does. So, come on, Steve, we're taking a field trip to the uh, county record or city records office. Yeah. yeah, let's go. All right. All right, so you are trying to find what specifically? Um, trying to find a list of properties owned by the um, um, Gagak and Yeah, I keep Gagab. wanting to say gorilla, Gagab. but I know that's not right. The gorilla I have it written down by Gagagap. 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 Common business name? Yes. Yeah, very. Made by very somebody common. with too many G's when they're playing Scrabble. Um. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Um. That <laughs> also? You know, maybe just help me look and see if you see something. Yeah. All right. You never know. Strange yeah, I can do that. Happened. Don't murder anyone. What, <laughs> at least not with what are we rolling? Yeah, I don't think any. I don't think I'm yet at the state where I have to roll dice not to murder people. All right. So, um, 
Ooh, I, I did notice that you have a, a, a low level uh, alternate personality, by the way. Wait, Steve has a low level yeah. alternate personality? Yeah, alternate yeah personality. I do. Yeah, hasn't come yeah. up because it's so low level. Well, but also, also, you, don't you know, know what it is. <laughs> no, no, it, it's, it's my stage persona. It's, it's the oh, character okay. that okay. like half of the time that I'm playing dumb about something, I'm faking it. That's, that's the okay. other half of the time. It's the alternate persona that actually is dumb. <laughs> So I guess we'll see what information comes out of Steve. All right, it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, okay. so um, I'm gonna oh, this is why you're pointing it out. Okay, yeah, no, I'll yeah. I'll I'll fuck it out. Let's see what information comes out of Steve. No, no, you don't need to. I'll I'll get your alternate persona soon enough. I promise. Oh, all right. Um, just quick, do we get any uh, aspirations and or scars in that last couple scenes? I don't think we have that. Um, Rules hasn't been nearly obnoxious enough yet to consider. No, that. only the brand new emotional scarring picking up from all of this, but okay. that doesn't count. Yeah, that's just normal. <laughs> all right, normal deviant scarring. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and make a um, intelligence plus uh, or or wits. Intelligence or wits plus um, academics to do research in the library or a public records office. Steve, you want to do your support role first? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, sure. <laughs> support, Steve, support. Uh, no, I got nothing. All right. All right, now roll. <clears throat> uh, one. One, OK. If I had any academics at all, I'd be really good at this role. But well, you'd also be able to, mental, not so good. Yeah, you'd also be able to. Yeah, that's true. Even even with your cheesy powers. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, I mean, good news and bad news. The good news is you got a list of uh, of various buildings. The bad news is it's really long. I mean, it appears that this the Ganondorf group. For one, it has a couple different divisions. Ganunga Gap Real Estate Group is one of the is the one that you see me mostly in contact with. They also have the Ganunga Gap Movers and some other like seemingly unrelated businesses. Um, you know, certain food service businesses. They seem to appear to have a stake in a casino um, somewhere. In a Vegas. data firm. A data firm. Well, yes, they do. You're right. They do have a data firm. Um, but. Uh, yeah, that's actually useful information as an in character stuff that. Um, mm. But uh, they've been growing fast. Um, it, it seems like their revenues have climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed. Um, and to a certain extent, the uh, Serendipitous Garden seems to be the place that they're not making a lot of money uh, on paper. Quick paper. Losing money. I had a thought. <laughs> Um, cause my, my understanding with what we talked about at the law office is that is, this is a relatively recent mm -hmm. development. So if possible, I, I'm going to take the whole list back with me, yeah. but I want to see if I can also figure out which of those were purchased in, um, like, were we given a time frame for how long they've been doing this? Like two years? Um, three years, one year. Like, let me see what the they had an actual number of the time when they started this whole thing. Um, just says several. They've owned the, the Serendipitous Gardens for the last three. Okay. But they were doing this stuff for years before that. Um. So it's hard to say exactly when they became a formal, like Ganunga Gap, um, when Ganunga Gap Human Resources became a thing, um, was probably the oldest of their businesses. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll maybe I'll, I'll sort through the data more later. 
um, wait, the Gununga Gap movers. Does it say when the property, does it seem to be like there's any pattern for when those properties started being purchased, the moving related ones? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Um, movers. Uh, it appears that most of the stuff that they've purchased is like space for having moving trucks, um, a couple, a couple office buildings. Okay. Um, so it's like their warehouse, like we're having a warehouse facility, like garage ish, warehouse ish sort of places where you like a warehouse where you might be able to park a couple of trucks. Um, okay. I'm going to highlight those. Um, and then, um, does it seem like maybe there have been more mover related purchases in the last three years? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, like that has probably been one of their most, their biggest expenditures and expansions. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, at I least let me back off of that a little bit. We're at that three years ago, Mark, it just ticked up, like rocking it up. Okay. Um, and it did continue to increase a little bit until about the time where you're able to cross-reference, they hit that 12. And when they got to 12 units that they could get to still and then they could like back off on it because they didn't need okay. it anymore. Um, other than enough to just kind of cover the fact that they're, you know, they don't just move people in and out of the center of those gardens. They actually have a moving business that covers for you know, horrible human trafficking. Okay, I also want to highlight any properties that were purchased anywhere in the corporation in the past three years. Um, and then later, I'll see if I can stick this on a map, but that's that's a project I think for overnight, not necessarily okay. right now. All right. So I feel like I, if I start camping out in the middle of the records office with a map of the city, then I start like, <laughs> that might look a little suspicious. <laughs> So this sounds like a project for Steve's apartment. <laughs> bring all your red yarn. Yes, I will totally bring all of my red yarn. Just don't bring your cat because cats and red yarn don't mix. Uh-oh, that's a dangerous combination. Just don't put her in a broom closet. Me or the cat? Bjorn is, a, is male. So, I mean, you have a... a uh, Non-binary cat. I'm pretty sure I mean, my cat has been. Neutered. It's a manticore. It could theoretically, you know, have its own opinions of over and above. <laughs> that seems a little um, advanced lore for a manticore, though. And they don't have true sapience. Anyway, um, I guess I'm going to go pay witness to a super awkward visit with an ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the things I planned for tonight. Um, okay. All right. So, um, oh, getting to this institution, and what are you? How are you going to um, prelude this, or? I am going to make this seem as normal as possible. I'm going to walk up to the front desk and say, uh, Steve Powers, and I'm here to see my ex-wife. Okay. Um, let me see how much they care. Not much. OK. We can, uh, we'll see if she's willing to visit you. Okay. Why wouldn't she be? <laughs> it's your ex-wife, after all. That's true. I mean, arguably something must have happened there. Indeed. She survived. That's that's pretty strange if it's, oh, wait, no, that, that's, that's not strange.
So. Well, she didn't say no. So I guess you can go in there. Uh, try to keep your voice low. She's easily startled and um, uh, yeah, she's easily startled. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. All right. The name of your wife is Alicia Rubel. Alicia Rubel. Rubel. Yeah. Okay. Like the Russian just name thing. generator. That's all it is. Okay. Yeah, but it's just a name generator thing. All right. I didn't get too fancy with this one. It's not her real her real name anyway, and her real name doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, I will. I will go where they tell me, okay. and uh... straight to hell. <laughs> uh, we'll see how the, what the journey goes. You poke my head in. So, um, Alicia. Uh, Do they let me come with just out of curiosity, or yeah, they'll let him. They'll let her you come with because we want to make sure that not they want to say. I want you to have some involvement. Is (laughs) is there? uh, Is it? It's is it like a padded room situation? Uh, no. It's it actually just looks like it's it's like someone has tried very hard to make it look comforting and. friendly and warm and welcoming and it obviously hasn't really had an, an impact on her like there's just no joy in her eyes no no sense of being able to enjoy anything anymore or desire anything anymore. it's all just been gone it's all been wiped away there's nothing left she's a husk all the shoes have already dropped she's not expecting any more shoes to drop and she probably doesn't care if they do Gotcha. Are okay. You an emotional vampire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey. You haven't, come, you haven't come to gloat again, have you? Gloat again? No, that yeah. doesn't. That doesn't sound like me. Yeah. Oh. Well. Well, that's good. Who is this? Is this your new wife? I heard that nope. you got remarried. Nope. Uh, Four this times. is this is just a neighbor of mine. Oh, just just a neighbor of girlfriend. Mine. Nope, just a neighbor. I, okay, I just want to warn you that if you have the intention of harvesting his soul, um, it's a bad idea, and and, and he's protected, and we don't. Did I'm sorry, you're gonna you have to run that by me again. Just- did somebody get there first? <laughs> Did he not tell you? He doesn't seem to know anything. Well, we weren't married very long. Um, we didn't know each other very long. He was he was bait. He was just bait. But they got they got the evidence. They got the evidence. Of me being a reaper. They took it away from me. They took it all away from me and they gave it to him. I can only imagine that they gave it to him. Yeah. Reaper like yeah. scythe? The Grim? Did they forget? To, did they make you forget? Maybe. I don't remember much. Actually, that's kind of why I'm here. I, uh... <laughs> they made you forget. They oh, maybe. Gosh. Uh... What did they forget? Make him forget? What does he the need to remember? The fact that he worked for them, the Guardians. Oh God! Of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardians of the veil. They of are the ones the that veil. they police. They police the wizards. I was a sorceress, but, but I don't have I don't have my soul anymore. So I don't have my powers anymore. Unless unless you find a soul to give it to me, 
then and then we can we can rekindle what might have been. Um, mine's damaged. You don't want it. Oh. Ah. Uh, aha. So, um. Immortality is expensive. It always has a price, magic. Always. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do hear those cards are pretty expensive. <laughs> but they made you forget. They made you forget. You know, this is good. You seem to be having a good time. Is this, have I made your day, Alicia? Come on. You haven't made it any worse. I that's don't know good. if you make it worse. That's, that's good to hear. My intention I don't was... hear the call of the towers anymore. I don't hear the towers call anymore. Me neither. Why could I be? <laughs> Me neither. Have you? Alicia? Yes. Do you have family who isn't Steve? Oh no, I I harvested them long ago. Because you have to start somewhere, and it's easier to start with ones that you trust you. Alicia. And then, and then they can't be used against you. They can't be used against you. They don't they don't tattle. They don't tattle them when they when they don't they don't they don't, they don't know. They don't they don't remember. They don't. They don't hey remember. hey hey uh. So yes, you've you've met my other wives, right? You remember any of them? I know that you had them. I heard that you mar- remarried twice. Oh, but I I don't I haven't met your wives. That would be too easy of an explanation. I, I know yeah. I know I remember your father-in-law, Vernica. Okay. He's a guardian. Was a guardian. Father-in-law, say, say, say again. Your former father-in-law, I guess. I mean, er, 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 you were er, married Ernica? before. Er, er, Ernica. Ernica. Oh, Ernica. Okay. Guernica. Named, named after a, a very famous painting. Guernica. 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 Guernica uh, Rubel, then. Picasso. No, no, you were no, no. I'm not Guernica. Oh. Kernica was Gernica. Okay. I don't know his, his true name. True names are, are dangerous. True names are powerful. I hear that. Yeah. No one, no sorcerer goes by their true name if they are smart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so this was fun. Um, did, uh, it, it seems like you had a good time, yeah? Maybe we, if you maybe can we get me someone's this. soul, if you can bring me a someone's soul, one that's not broken and dirty, but someone's soul, I'll bet, I'll bet I can make you remember. Wait, what? <laughs> if, if I had someone's soul, I bet I could make you remember. There's a chance. There's a chance you could take a chance on me. I wouldn't take it away from you again. I mean, you said your your friend said that her soul was broken. Yeah. Who was protecting my soul, did you say? Gernica. Well, Gernica. They're not really... Not really protecting, protecting you. He, he used okay. Ex so, so so okay. Yeah, ex father in law. So okay. So I had a mystical praxis that uh, kept me immortal, potentially, theoretically, but it involved it involved needing other people's souls. 
but it wasn't as simple as just, you know, go in and like reach into their chest and take it away or something silly like that. It's, it's, it has to be more powerful than it, it has to have, it has to have has to have some significance to it. So what I would do, and what, what, my, what, what my, 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 my teacher taught me how to do is to, you, what you have to do is you have to marry someone, you have to form that bond, and then you take the soul of the person you, you marry. So you took Steve's soul? Yes, and then, and ate it, and then I, as punishment, when they caught me, as Guernica caught me, I was, you were bait, your soul was always bait, they took my soul away and gave it to you, gave it to you, so you, so you, you and I are kind of soulmates, so you should get me a soul, so that I can help you recover your memories. So he has your soul. Clever. His yeah. Soul. Yeah. Soulmate. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Okay. So like I said, this is, this has been fun. We should do this again sometime. Um, uh, soul. Yeah. Soul. Who knows? Who knows? Anything could happen. <laughs> My body's dying all around me. All right. I never, just to be clear though, I never hit you or anything, right? No, we barely knew each other. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. It was a marriage. That's good. Instigated by you just to steal his soul? Yeah. And I'm you know, to... that sounds like me. We, we should, we should really be going though. We don't, we don't want to hold you up too much. Oh, well, you know. This is not the worst thing that's happened to me today, but it's not the best thing that's happened to me either. What's the what? best thing that happened to you today? I don't care. Oh, that is good. I could use some of that. What's the worst? I don't care. I just don't care anymore. None of it matters. Kind of right. glad that we're only halfway to her. Uh, yeah. So I will talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Well, that was not nearly as helpful as I thought. It's <laughs> <laughs> about four times more horrifying, and. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was Steve before he met you? What were you? <laughs> okay. I'm just glad that the worst thing that you have ever done to me <laughs> is, is really weird noises from upstairs at two in the morning. Hold like, on. You've just heard a story from a woman who said that she didn't know me when she married me and she baited me into being married so she could take my soul and then some other stuff about and oh, no. and and you, you think this is my fault? You you intentionally baited her into marrying you uh because <laughs> your mentor uh was trying to catch her in the act of stealing your soul, came too late and then stole her soul and put it in you, fucked it up, and now you may or may not have been stealing the souls of uh, other wives, perhaps? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? <laughs> questions is what I'm trying to say. It's true, you do have questions. Um, yeah. so I guess we need to find the records of your Though I'm just saying, if all of your other ex-wives are dead, maybe it has to do with like soul problems. And if she has your soul, why did she say that she's soulless now? Because you have her soul. Yes, but she said she had. <clears throat> yeah, she ate it. You got the sense that it was devoured. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Not she a was using it to power her immortality. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> Small children. So, in character, of course. Uh, Did I battle <laughs> I'm just saying, if Weird. ever you do recover some of your memories, it's probably it would be completely reasonable for you to downgrade um, ab or, yeah. um, amnesia by one, and instead take the, de the standard deviation nightmares. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I could have those anyway. Yeah, I know. So I, I, you know, that's I wouldn't say that's my plan per se, but that that did cross my mind as I was designing this. That maybe one day you'll remember some of this stuff, and yeah. Have horrible nightmares about it for the rest of your life. So be well, careful what you wish for. And before then, I am going to think that she is a crazy person. <laughs> I suppose but what you got maybe... out of this was she's nuts, and I'm not a burger. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> she's... She's nuts, but she seems to think that she got me to marry her and not the other way around, so. But yeah, uh, maybe there is someone out there named Guernica who can help me figure out what of this. Well, the parts that almost made sense. She was your third wife? Yeah. So he was the father of one of your first two. Yeah. yeah. That narrows it down at least. So, so yeah. now we should do some hunting to I hunt can't... down yeah. that whoever it... was going by Guernica. Probably not somebody happy. Dude, oh. maybe you're immortal. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Not currently. <laughs> with, this, with, this, with this happening, I, I feel less disturbed about the news that my soul is damaged now. <laughs> At least it wasn't formally owned by a soul-stealing monster. Well, it truth. makes it, you know, more likely to stay in me. I mean, I'm, it's, it's less worth things now. So, I mean, there On we the go. I got side. the first dent in the car. You know, but he wants to steal it now because the hood's all crumply. <laughs> on the downside there are soul stealing people out there we yes <laughs> again though she could also just be crazy she's yeah. in an institution <laughs> she could also but i'm just it saying be the craziest thing we've seen but she could also be crazy yes and I would be more likely to take it that way if you had a bunch of living ex-wives. However, you have a bunch of <laughs> wives. I was I was hoping that that she would have been the reason why because she sounded like she was she sounded like she killed her family maybe. Uh, and yes, so... but unless you married her sisters, not super helpful. Yeah. Not so you much. didn't marry her sisters, right? She would have known my wives if she had, if I had married her sisters. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Follow along here. Keep up. Read, really a <laughs> Read a book. Read a book. Well, <laughs> the good thing you don't have any other wives <laughs> that are alive to talk to, because I wouldn't go with you to any of them now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You could research more about yourself. You could. I should. Solomon has a girlfriend to visit to do. You should definitely go talk to Guernica. It's not like he can fuck with your mind or anything. He can't steal your blood. <laughs> he can't kill you. He can't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Look. I am I am gonna assume until I until I see otherwise that that she has just gone off the deep end with whatever the hell happened with us. So Yeah. I am I am gonna look for father the father in law that she was talking about who knew what was going on and isn't in an institution and uh see if How he you... makes more sense. Yes perhaps all right 
let's give our salt, give us an, I know I got to get to Mark too. A little bit, but, um, actually, let's go ahead and do that real quick, Mark. Okay. We'll do more I'll, research with you soon. I'll give an R a call and see if we can meet up for lunch. Okay, you can meet up for lunch. Um, somewhere, I don't know, convenient for her since she still has a job. <laughs> I'm not bitter about that at all. Had lots of free Renegade time. bitterness is what you are. All right. Um, so we'll I mean, do some casual catching up, but at some point, um, I'll need. I have a favor to ask. If if you're willing. Okay. Um, you know the company that owns. The condo building the gap. Group, that yeah. uh, you know you worked for when you're doing the interior design back when they were remodeling a few years ago. Uh, well, the gist of it is, I think they might be up to some shady, shady practices because we're uncovering mm -hmm. stuff within the building. Just we're kind of looking into it and uh, seeing how you had. And, you know, worked with them or contracted with them before. I was wondering if you still have any records of maybe people you dealt with or, you know, any money trail or any kind of documentation about that business relationship that might uh, lead us to other information, really. So you're like, that's a really broad amount of information. I couldn't provide that from my employer without need to know and their clearance. Can you uh, be more specific? Something that I can just sort of share off the top of my head? Because, yeah, just records. I can't just produce records. I have them memorized. I, I design a lot of different interior designs. Well, the, the specifics would be, well, if we can get names of you know, who, who in the company you dealt with? Where did the paychecks come from? What bank? Uh, you know, those kind of things would be helpful things that I could then follow up on. The trick is trying to find out where all their, their little corporate tendrils have reached. Oh, well, I mean, it wasn't like they paid us in cash or anything shady like that. I mean, they... Um, so, so there should be some money trail. Yeah, I mean, there is. I, you know, I don't deal with invoicing, uh, that sort of thing too much. Um, but uh, yeah, they, you know, their checks cleared. They paid in a timely fashion. Um, I think it was, gosh, it was, it was Deutsche Bank. I don't remember. It's not. It wasn't like it's not a really not some sort of shady bank. <laughs> but not not also a <laughs> Thanks, local bank. Huh? But not a local bank. Not a, a local bank. Not a local bank. No, no, not a local bank. Um I mean it's just a large bank. Right. It just happens to be a foreign bank also. Well, you know, they've got reach all over the place. I mean, my hope is that if they were contracting with you guys, that there might be other businesses that they have dealings with. And if we can find, you know, what information you could have from that interaction, then we could find who they might also be working with currently. Okay. Um, I think you're basically looking at looking for some tax records. Um, you think that would be there? Like, because they would have to have to pay, like, log out, log who they paid what. Um, I mean, not my area of expertise. I make I make buildings look nice inside, uh, but. Um, you no, know, it, it stands to reason that they'd have some sort of uh, 
or has to be, they have to issue some sort of tax records to anyone that they contracted with. Who did, who did you deal with directly? Uh, building manager was Karen, but I know like I spent a lot of time on the phone with Abby here and there, um, mostly just relaying and her just relaying information to me um, from Karen. Yeah, they're they're with the building itself. Yeah, Karen seems to have like a lot of the you know basic commando stuff, but um, I think we also what's the guy, little guy's name. There was a little guy who was in maintenance that was just really, I don't know, sort of like hovering around all the time, and every once in a while would like take out a sharpie and like cross off things on the on the blueprint like it was he had veto power over certain decisions uh it was probably gene yeah that sounds about right i wanted to say john but i knew that wasn't quite right no uh yeah i don't really like that guy but he's he's actually uh uh missing right now oh missing well, like not not in the building. We don't know where he went. Are you sure he's not like just on vacation? Uh yeah, pretty sure he's not on vacation. Hmm. I don't know. He, he didn't seem like a really nice guy. Not not a lot of people skills. Right, right. Yeah. That's true. You don't think have any any records you'd be able to get to me? Well, if you if you um, find, if you find something, you know, if you're digging around, and you're like, hey, hey, some old uh, info from from that Kingdom Map deal. Let me just send it my way. Okay, I'll keep my eye out. You know, I, I get like you gotta be careful. I mean, remember, you, like, you, girlfriend is a little bit of a strong word for the relationship at this point. If you've had a few dates. Um, I mean, several probably, but like, uh, I don't think she's quite at the, you're quite at the stealing um, confidential information from the office and giving it to well, the stage of your relationship. If you, if you come back, <laughs> then now that you know I'm interested, because I think there's something something fishy with the business, uh, just send it my way and you don't have to feel like you need to dig into it. Just send it over and I'll look at it. Whether or not it's helpful, we'll figure it out. Okay. You don't need to do anything illegal. <laughs> it's always a legit conversation when you end it that way. <laughs> By the way. Why do all of my dates end like this? <laughs> Just you didn't work for the CIA. Them, you don't have to do illegal things. The more you know, <laughs> it's better if you if you if you uh, stress the you don't have to do anything. <laughs> or have illegal. to, <laughs> but it sure would be a turn on. You could, but hey, for me, it there's, a, there's but there's a dozen roses in it for you. <laughs> Just a dozen roses! Wow. <laughs> Oh, baby steps. You gotta, you gotta learn how to negotiate. And a nice stress. dinner out. Uh, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, so where is for, for lunch? Nice lunch at at, at Wayne <laughs> Castle. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, um. Are we going to do a quick gather or are we going to move on to the next day and sabotage? Um, uh, when I'm going to, when I get home, I'm going to see if I can piece together on the internet uh, who, who this person might be. Um, I think we should gather up not only the power about whatever that. we went off to do, but what are what is our sabotage plan? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure we have one yet. 
Yeah, no. that's why we should meet up. After we get, it doesn't necessarily need to be played out, but this sounds weird, but I promise I'm laying the groundwork for possible future things. Um, I want to introduce my cat to Abby. Okay. Um, get, tell your cat to get her general. Uh, oh, I don't think you can. No, I'm not going to let my cat abuse Abby. <laughs> it, it back up. Just in case the cat needs something done importantly. Okay, I will. Oh have... my god! It would be like get me tuna. <laughs> You can use the cat to talk to Abby without being overheard. I can, and also... Oh, shit. And also, when I change into a cat, I change into a cat identical to my cat, so <laughs> I can interact with it. <laughs> I gotta say, I wasn't just doing this for shit for your I, I actually have a um, plan here <laughs> that could be used later. So yes, I'm introducing Abby to my cat. Just casually hoping that she really likes cats. Begging my cat to be really nice to her. <laughs> uh, as long as there's extra tuna in it for him, Yorn is relatively okay with that. What? I said, as long as there's extra tuna in it for him, Bjorn is okay with being nice to Abby. I'll I will buy him some actual like not canned tuna. Oh, oh, you gotta be careful. You're gonna get expectations set. I know you're gonna be standing at your dining room table while you're eating lunch every day and expecting to be fed a third meal that you know, tastes you that. Not that this, not that I have any experience with this at all. <laughs> So hopefully Bjorn is nice and it's all warming and stuff. Okay. And I'll make note of what your eventual plan is on that so that you can. Yes. To either on. communicate through the cat to Abby or um, to. Use it as a way of getting into like have her cat sit. Yes. There's that. Yeah, that. Or also, I take place of cat and communicate with Abby that way. There's, there's oh, that, as in, have you ca have oh. a cat set? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just laying the groundwork for whole bunches of yeah, for all sorts of shenanigans. Yeah, that may come in handy later. Yes, I had that idea, and I'm like, I should lay the ground now. So, nope, anyway. that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So meet up, I guess. Yeah, we we should meet at Steve's apartment. No, no, we should meet downstairs, and oh, I'll 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 tell oh. you why. Um, okay. Because uh, if we have a list of buildings, it might be more relevant to be down there. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, uh, listen, I got a list of eight to ten buildings that. I think it might be in the city. Do you guys have any information? Here's the ones that at least were purchased in the last three years. And um, here's the ones that are for the moving company. And here's the whole list. Oh, wow. That's a big list. Yeah. I, I, I was let's, hoping that these might be at least the places to start. Yeah, let's start with the moving company because I, I bet it's uh, it's it's those assholes that uh, uh, they've got him. And most uh, of the stuff there has been purchased pretty recently too. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to run through the uh, list of moving company documents first to see Remember if which? there are uh, are any overlaps. All right, time for heroic cross referencing. All right, I guess we're doing a organized secondaries with a primary. Um, let's do intelligence plus investigation. I'll help okay. with that. Um, uh, hey, so, so, so let me be the primary and actually we're gonna, we're gonna triple cross investigation uh, 
between those two lists. I'm going to put you guys on those lists. And I'm going to be, uh, the list I'm going to be looking at is the list of blueprints on the walls. I'm going to okay. see if, if anything that we have that overlaps is also on the wall here. So I'm, who am I assisting? You're, well, you're both assisting me, I think. Oh, OK. Oh. Hold on. All of us. You right. said it was intelligence plus investigation? Yep. Yeah. Correct. The negative three for unskilled means minus three dice? Yes. Yep. OK, so that leaves me with negative one dice to help you. So that becomes That's a chance die. die. That's a chance die. I got three. OK. Uh, I'm helping. Ha! I got a 10. Oh, I have well, you, you zero successes and a one. Yeah, that doesn't matter unless it's a chance die. I didn't think it did. All right, so Noel, you get four extra dice on your four. Gone four roll. extra dice. Okay. Yep. Uh, wow, uh, this is like the biggest die pool I've ever rolled in uh, this game so far. <laughs> uh, holy shit! We haven't been huge on dice rolling though. Uh, that's true. In this game. Okay, well, that's six. Uh, that's six successes. All right, so. Exceptional. Yep. So, you discover that there is one of the sort of warehouse moving van built buildings um, in a small town outside of Boulder. So, not super close to Denver, but, you know, close enough that you could certainly get there by driving for an hour or so in the middle of the night. Um, that has a um, really cheap motel across the street from it. Um, like, and again, it's sort of in the middle of nowhere. Um, and the, it's a, it's a Tuesday night and like, just looking at what's available for the next several months, the, there's no vacancy. You just mm. can't get a room there. Like if you like fed it into a, um, like a, like a Travelocity or something of that nature, nature wouldn't even try to put you in this hotel because it would see that the gates weren't. Okay. Well, that sounds promising. Yeah. It'd be the kind of place where you could put someone semi-temporarily until you sell them to a corporation. Um, did, just out of curiosity, did we, did we share, uh, did we share some information about what we did today? I um, What's that? I yeah, so. I would say as, as we're kind of going through, um, I mean, I'll let Steve talk first if he wants. Yeah. Because uh, I feel like this should be Steve's thing to share, but if Steve doesn't remember. No, no, I, I um, well, I, I assume I yeah, don't you, remember all of this. You generally retain stuff afterwards, despite the like jokes about forgetting people's names um but yeah. uh it's i mean you you remember this conversation well enough. yeah so i will communicate what i got which was a name of someone who i apparently used to be really close to um and then she also said lots of things about souls and if you 
Polk, I'll tell you exactly what she said, but I will insist that she seemed pretty crazy while saying it. So. I would say maybe scary, but. Yeah. I, uh, I, I wouldn't put too much stock in what she was saying. Yeah, I, 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 it doesn't seem like Benji takes it very seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Nope. So she was crazy, but I got this name that might give me a lead that isn't crazy. She didn't live with you at the uh, condo, did she? That is a good question. That did no, not no. come this up. Was, this happened several years ago. Um, I oh, will give okay. you your like relationship history, as it were, at least in, as it appears in public records. Okay. Um, so you were married to one Marie Stadler from the age of 20 to 22. Wow, I started early. Yeah. <laughs> um, the newspaper clippings from the time aren't more specific other than saying that it was a tragic accident. Um, and uh, there weren't, there's not like, I mean, it was, it was pre-social media. It was, you know, 20 years ago. Sure. But, uh, or nearly 20 years ago. But, um, so there's not a whole lot of other stuff, but like, even like looking at interviews and such, nobody references exactly what the uh, the cause of the accident was. Um, in you do see a couple cases where relatives suddenly got very interested in um, you know preventing gas explosions. Other relatives getting very concerned about um, dealing with drunk driving. Um, you know talking to someone who seemed to be really concerned about falling down the stairs after hearing about this accident. And just like, it doesn't seem to make sense. It's almost like everyone has a different memory of what happened to her. Um, so that was Marie. Um, Clarabelle. Okay. Oh, uh, another an interesting thing, an interesting factoid about you is it used to be like a, I mean, you're a gun enthusiast now, but like, you used to be kind of a kind of a redneck as far as I like really just not interested in academics or um, I mean you went to college but it was sort of a thing that you were expected to do um, you just really you know I like comedy well you didn't that was I the didn't. sort of the weird thing is that you were not a comedian as a kid um, or as a as a young man um, that was not something that came until later on in life. Um, there's really no record of you getting involved in comedy until you were married for the fourth time, um, or just a little bit before you were married the fourth time to one uh, Barbara Downing. Uh, I'll get to her momentarily, though. Uh, there was a, the, so your second wife's name was Clarabelle Summers. Um, you were married for, from, for about five years. Um, and uh, there's not a lot of details about exactly what you did during that time. Um, you seem to be like described as a freelancer, like freelance. Hopefully not murder. What? Um, <laughs> hard to say. Um, but your uh, your resume was very light at that point in your of your time. Um, and uh, but yeah, so that was your that was your second wife, uh, and she. Um, There was a lot of mystery surrounding what exactly your involvement was with that. Um, rumor has it that um, when the police busted down your door uh, to uh, respond to the call, to the uh, rec the like call to uh, reports that there was gunfire in the house, you basically like shot a bunch of cops. Um, but you were never. You were never tried. Um, the uh, you never went never went to court. You were never even arrested. Just just seemed like that whole incident just disappeared. Um, but yeah, there's definitely uh, quite a lot of wild rumors about uh, being being a cop killer in that particular when, on the night that she died. Um, let's see, God bless underground laws, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, Alicia, you were only married for a little while, as you know. Um, Barbara, you married about three years later. 
she was a stand-up comic who moved in the same circles as you did. Um, it, again, like all of a sudden, right around um, the time you were in your early 30s, all of a sudden you just started being comedian. And, and by all accounts, you were really, really bad at that. It was really rough, I guess is a better way to describe it. It was like you had just decided one day when you were in your late 20s or early 30s that you wanted to do comedy. And by gosh, you were going to do comedy. And uh, you weren't, you know, super famous or anything or like, or even like seeming to move up when you married Barbara um, or when you met Barbara rather. Uh, but she was really, really good. Um, absolutely brilliant. And uh, in fact, like a lot of the way that you got your initial success was coattailing on her career uh, because you, you had great chemistry. Um, you uh, just had just this great act going between the two of you. And I mean, you couldn't have done it without her, but she benefited from it too. It was, it was, a, it was a good bit. And you were married to her for, uh, for three years. Um, and, uh, let's see. That leaves one more. Um, I'm not done yet. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, but from, now this is the one you had, you actually had twins during your, during your marriage. And, uh, Kids? There were there were kids and they there were um, kids. Uh oh. Did you eat kids. their souls? No, he. <laughs> according to the the law enforcement record, um, he was arrested for the being the primary suspect in their murders. All the, the kids and the, and his wife. Perfect. Um, and uh, yeah, great. You know, there was some inconclusive evidence and the prosecutor screwed up uh, in some really like surprising ways. And whatever actually happened, you were not found guilty and you got off. Um, I'm not so, asking you to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> and like six months later, like super, super fast when you were like, you know, still 39. Like, I guess uh, not, not quite even 39 because it was uh, less than you said you're just now turning 40. Or right around yeah. 40. Let's make it 40. Yep. Because I, I got your text a little late for this. Um, but uh, you married a heiress to a large fortune, um, daughter of a billionaire investment banker named Jacob Fields, who died rather suddenly a few years before she met you um, and left her everything. Um, and then uh, she... Um, Then the change on her will, the ink dried, and she died. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, you know, they, uh, she died. The kind of the weird thing is that the, this was when social media was a thing, but there's like no social media about her. Like she was not on Facebook. She wasn't on Twitter. Um, wasn't involved with, like, you, you don't even have any letters um, that you kept. Uh, about from her to her emails, nothing. Um, it's almost like she didn't exist. Um, and uh, but yeah, she she died, and you, you inherited her fortune. That's why you're you're rich and famous is because you're uh, of your. Uh, I'm rich lives. from one wife and famous from another. Yes. All right. <laughs> broken from a third, but that's and broken from a third potentially, <laughs> kinda potentially. maybe. So, fun history. Well, uh, Saul, did you get anything from your girlfriend? Not really. Uh, what she could remember uh, off the top of her head, yeah, you know, if things seemed legit, they paid bills. But uh, the, the money seemed to come from Deutsche Bank whatever we want to make of that. She was going to send me anything she runs across when it worked, but she couldn't recall a whole lot. Did she say who she talked to while she was doing her Eric, work? Abby and Jean. Jean? 
Well, he was around, not so much that she talked with him. What was he doing? What what, what, what part was he taking in it? Eh. Uh, she said he was just around and would like cross things off of blueprints. Really? Hmm. Hey. So I'm going to start looking around at the blueprints and see if there's any writing on any of them. Um, on these, not so much. Um, you get the sense that if he... It was when he was out, you know, she was working on stuff. Not, yeah. not here. But if he was tracking his changes... Uh, it might be interesting to know what he was working on. Uh, if it also might tell us which other of these buildings he might be working at now, if he's written any of his changes on them. So you, you, Eric, you said there there isn't much on the walls. Well, there's nothing that gives an indication that he's like written on them, um, based on what. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Inara was told the soul. It sounds more like he was kind of had veto power over design decisions. Um, and so it wasn't, he wasn't marking the blueprints for his benefit. He was marking it for the benefit of the people who had to obey um, those okay. modifications. All right. Huh. Okay. I uh, wonder what he did with those. Destroyed them, took them with him. Put them in a drawer. Ate them. Well, he gave, would have given the blueprints back to the, to the uh, designers so that they could implement the changes. Oh, sure. Yeah. Do oh. blueprints get stored anywhere official? Oh, the, oh, I'm the, sure the designer would have those. Yeah. I'll text her to see if uh, those are some of the things they've still got around. With the modifications yeah. or pre-modification? Yeah, it would actually oh, be uh. it would actually be really helpful to see uh, what he vetoed. Interesting. Boop, 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 boop. Asking your ex-girlfriend to commit espionage? No, just of the things to look at. Hey, how about those blueprints? If you got you them okay. I don't know the answer to that right now. Um, so I'm going to make a note of that and we'll address that sometime in a future, in a future session. Okay. Speaking of which, quick question. I, uh, I know we started a bit late. Um, do we have any issue with going like 15 minutes late if, we, if it comes to that? No. Got nothing going on. That okay. What would that, I mean, that would, would bring that us to 9.15? It's probably still fine. One second here. Let me let the showrunners know. Make sure they're I'll let you know if that is not okay. All right. All right. So I guess that moves us to. We have some, an apartment to wreck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we have to figure out what we're going to do so we can do it. Yeah. Figure out what you're going to do. I can easily wreck it. How? Uh, Sledgehammer. Well, yeah. I mean, or I could just use my other power. That works too. Here. Shiny power? No, my other power. What's the other one again? Uh, haven't said. <laughs> it hasn't come up. Oh. 
Okay. So what is that other power? <laughs> uh, is your other oh, power a sledgehammer? Electricity around. <laughs> Called water damage. No, it's a storm storm collar. Oh. Hmm. Well, that would certainly work. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, j just. I, I'm going to just assume that Righty is starting to pull yeah. on my ear. He is a little bit. He's eager what? for you to go and and deal with that. What? Okay. Uh, Saul, you and I should go and screw with the apartment because uh, apparently yeah. I have something to do there too. I'm not sure, entirely sure what it is yet. Make sure you bring the special spanner. Um, I, of course. You, the the range is, I mean, do you, you probably don't want to be in there when I start sh shocking things around. Um and then it's like none of the appliances work and there's water damage. Well, it's like I'm making it electricity. in there. It's electricity. You do. It's electricity. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I, I want to get a, I want to get a look at the place before we, uh, before we start screwing with it. Yeah. Um, I, but I can I, also leave some radiation trail, you know, if it's radioactive, that's probably bad too. Well, they test probably them. not something that they're, checking for. I know my uh, my building inspector did not pay any attention to the, uh, didn't have a Geiger counter with him. Yeah, that's why I In the world of darkness, maybe they do. <laughs> In the world of darkness. <laughs> uh, Are you sure we don't live in the world of darkness? <laughs> no, we live in the darkest timeline. It's different. Yeah, oh, different. okay. Yeah. Fewer vampires, it still sucks. Fewer vampires, yeah. All right. So the plan is to sneak in to the room, into the building. Or yeah, yeah. Room. So be before we do that, though, we need to uh, we need to address one small problem. Saul, did, did you have something you needed to say? Oh, I was going to say, how are we getting in? We don't. I mean, they got everything surveilled. Are we able to? Uh... Yeah, yeah. That that's what I was talking about. Okay. Um. So I think uh... I might be able to do something about that. Um, so this has been something I've been thinking about for a little while. Uh, uh, I want to, I want to see if, uh, if I can work out uh, the, basically the surveillance line um, in the, in the workings of the apartment. Um, oh. because, because I know where they're sending that information, mm -hmm. but I don't, I, I want to figure out if there's any way I can either A, tap into it or B, uh, sabotage it, um, and make it blip out for a little bit. Uh, okay. mostly the second one for the moment, we'll, we'll save the, 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 the first one for a uh, time where it would be more interesting, but. <laughs> and when it's uh, it's okay to, for them to realize that someone has really got an ability to screw with them. Exactly. Right now, uh, you know, Gene is not here to keep things mm -hmm. running smoothly. And uh, if it blips out at a, you know some random time, like they're not gonna necessarily think it's somebody screwing with it. <laughs> Not necessarily enemy action at this point. Right. Okay. Um, give me intelligence or wits plus um, crafts, I guess. I think that'll be Awesome. Uh, four. Or, okay. Um, quick before I forget, soul, uh, heal a medium reminder and stability for interacting with your loyal leader stuff and reinforce the relationship, even though there was a certain amount of transactionalism to it, but um, you also you know, did the meal thing. All right, so four successes. All right, you are pretty sure that you can cut the surveillance for that 
particular apart, uh, condo um, without, I mean, it's not, it doesn't seem like they, you know, monitor it in real time constantly because that would be exhausting. Yeah. Um, but uh, they just keep it and they have it and they store it and they will review it. Um, so uh, you're sure that like tomorrow when everything goes to hell, they're going to go, what the hell happened and check it and then find that the feed is dead and then they'll be upset. But um, at the, you're, you're sure that it's not going to like cause them to come running into the condo. Yeah. Um, I'm going to find a place where, it, where that line overlaps with some other dangerous <sighs> thing um, and basically make it look like, uh, you know, some, you know, there was like a, a small electrical fire like behind a panel somewhere, okay. like something shorted out and that was the thing that was affected. Okay, so you've got surveillance dealt with. Okay, we're, we're good. We can, we can get in now. We can just go through the door or are you gonna blip? I, I think we can just go through the door because I've taken care of the surveillance for the apartment and the, and the, like the hallway there. Um, and a crowbar will take care of the rest. Well, we don't need a crowbar because uh, I I have better tools for that. Okay. Um, this is this is something I'm actually good at. Yeah, I'll get nine again for larceny. All right. Um, um, so, Dex plus larceny. Uh, yes. Dex plus larceny. I have double nines. Um. Uh, three. Okay. Uh, you have no problem jimmying open the uh, the lock without making it obvious that it was picked. Um, so you get in and you have a just a nice, normal, ordinary, really not unusual at all. And it's been moved out already, right? Yeah. Um, it's... Uh, uh, it's ready to be moved into, so it's basically empty. Okay. It's got appliances um, and not much else. Sure. Uh, okay, well, uh, what does is, what is Righty have to say? Righty's like, okay, so that dishwasher over there, there's a bolt in the back on the left side toward the top. Um, I need you to turn it one quarter of a turn to the right. Tighten it just a little bit. It's come a little loose. That's it? That's it. And then we'll be all set. And you'll be ready to, well, we'll see. All right. Well, I, I have Saul help me pull the dishwasher out. And uh, I, it seems like I do something really tiny to the back of it. And uh, with, the, with the spanner, um, it does perhaps make you a little uncomfortable when the Spanner gets barfed out of my hand again, but um, uh, not really, actually. Oh, yeah, right, because we're because uh, we're deviants and uh, that kind of <laughs> stuff doesn't bother us. All right. Well, I kind of look like I think it might bother you, and then it doesn't. Hmm. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, so then I push it back in and go, okay. Uh, do your thing. Okay, now I need you to go down before sunrise. I need you to go down to the uh, maintenance room again. I need you to touch the two that two two contacts, the big like ones that are well, you know. Okay. The two tiny <laughs> contacts in front of the in front of the, the device. I need you to put your hands on those before sunrise. What device? The device. You, you you, the, the, it's the device that only you can see. There we are. Oh. Sorry. I don't yeah, remember the device, but well, okay. Other than other than the like the mirrors being goofy, the mirrors aren't goofy in in, uh, in Gene's office, but like most of the other stuff looks pretty much like that in your in your vision. Everyone else sees something significantly more mundane. Got it. But you see the wackiness with blueprints and strange devices. Am oh, I okay. hearing his shoulder talk? 
at this time or no? Nope. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, it's not forcing me to do anything yet. So. Yeah, but it sure is distracting. Yeah. Good lord. All right. So, so I, I say, do your thing, and then I wander off and start arguing with my shoulder. <laughs> you wander off out of that's par for the course. Out of the room. Yeah, like uh, I, I'm in the kitchen or something. No, like leave. Leave? Really? Yeah. Uh, all right. Or at least I'll... in one of those far rooms, if you don't want to leave, leave. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to see what happens. All right. Well, fine. Uh, Unless you're going to, like, take your pants off or something. <laughs> no, I'll, uh, I'll start trying to activate my thing. All right. Activate your thing. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to roll it? Yep, it's a... It's a uh... Controlled, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. So I think neither. it involves saw gold, so, but yeah. it's it, I don't recall if you're seeing like a persistent thing like my uh. Yeah, it's just like, a it's a uh, scar finesse roll, which is going to be your whatever your finesse um, attribute is for this. Yep. Um, plus your. Uh, magnitude. Getting like weeks since I've had to click on this. Uh, so yes, Carfin S plus variation magnitude plus well, acclimation zero. So that's better. Minus instability. Uh, no, uh, that's for resistance. Oh. You're going to be getting to roll that one soon, but not yet. Well, yeah, the. Uh... The lights are the thing that's hard to turn off. Yeah. Well, this one I just can't moment. really control how strong it is when I yeah. do it. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, I, uh, sevens are not. No, no, no. Correct. Eights and above. All right. Well, I have a success. Okay. That's so it's coming that. in at its lowest power. Yep. Um, so the air sort of. Go ahead and describe what happens here. So, yeah, the. The air, what is it? Um, I forget the range. Is it thirty feet or like up to? Uh, is it Aura? Uh, around me, yeah. Then it's ten yards. The so thirty feet, yeah. Thirty feet, yeah. So, whatever amount of this condo in that range, um, little sparks start shooting around, um, and then. Uh, they're kind of blinding, but they, you know, spark with electronics and um, things start smoking. And uh, I let that do what damage it will for a bit. Uh, if I feel like that's not enough, I'll I'll start bumping it up. Um, How and, extreme are you willing to let it get? Uh, I don't think I need to go to level four. <laughs> Probably not. So you're talking about like severe electrical damage, possibly some small fires. Yeah, there might there might be little fires from the electric sparkings and stuff. Mostly, I'm trying to get all the electronics to be damaged and not work. Um, and then, just for good measure, after that, I'll shine my sunlights at its max to cause the radiation the issue. All right. So uh, And then hopefully I can turn that one off. Yeah, that's the problem is you're not having any you're gonna have some difficulty turning that off when you leave the condo. Go ahead and give me now go ahead and give me your scarf and right. your uh, scar resistance minus modifiers. Say this one does have identifier with it and that's the radiation yeah. tracing. Um, all right so uh, and that would be that's at least I have good stat for that. The magnitude did or did not come into this one. It does not. It does it's, not. It's All just right. scar resistance it's just, plus yeah. acclimation minus 
minus any penalties that you have. I have zero penalties. Penalties. Okay, well, um, you've so got, yeah, you've got a bunch of light pouring out everywhere and you can't seem to leave the condo. And it's glowing through the windows um, and just generally um, not being subtle. How are you going to deal with the fact that you can't seem to get him to turn off and oh, also he's spitting out tons of radiation? Uh, hey, Benji, it might take me a little bit to turn off. You might, you really might want to leave. Uh, Benji, <laughs> ben, Benji is gone. <laughs> <laughs> no one responds. He's, he, he is, he is hightailed it already. <laughs> you killed Benji. Uh, I'll I'll shimmy on over to the windows and see if I can shut the blinds or something. Okay. Trying trying to aim at the ceiling or not at the window. Um, you uh, without really being a whole lot of uh, without a lot of control over it, you're like a shining spotlight. You keep on shining at that church across the street. That you know, yeah. just lighting up the building, and you know, it's just like. Like a, like a helicopter no one spotlight. Looking out that window. Yeah. Taking their radiation damage. Pretty, it's pretty, well, they're, it's so far away, they're, they're not going to take radiation damage. It's just light. Um, and uh, I mean, even if, even if there were like, I don't know, vampires sitting in front of the, in front of the church, it's not like they would take radiation damage from the train or sunlight damage from the train. But it's a very distinctive amount of light and type of light. And it probably is familiar to anyone who's ever seen you light up like this. Um, eventually, go ahead and give me another roll. Um, if I recall, I think I get an extra die each time I fail. You are correct. Okay. Yeah. You're prevented from being a death spiral. Uh, I have a success. Okay. You managed to get your horrible nonsense off under control. You're probably going to want to burn your clothes and put them in a burn them. Put them somewhere that they will not irradiate everything else. Um, you're immune, as I recall, to radiation, but your friends aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say you probably don't want to have anyone over, probably for 300, 400 years. Um, at least, at least, no one who wants to have kids. Uh, but yeah. Ah. Uh. It's always so hard to turn it off. I uh, think that's a ways down on our bucket list. <laughs> Having kids. That's it's already been on your bucket list once. Yeah. You yeah. Screwed that up. So Apparently I did. I'm, I'm not emitting radiation anymore. The room is. <laughs> the people above or below or next door didn't want to have kids. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Oh, uh, I'm not shooting fire everywhere. Fire is just everywhere in the room already. <laughs> exactly. I just uh, started you, the fire. Is Benji just like out in the hall? No, no. It appears he went out through the out through the wall into the into the uh, yard. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I'll just shut the door. I have no way to uncrowbar it. Or no, no, it, it wasn't a crowbar. It, it, it was just, uh, it was just locked. You can lock it from the inside and shut the door. All right. With your gloves that you are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you probably took reasonable precautions. Yeah, Benji won't let people not take reasonable precautions anymore. Uh, he just yeah, assumes people know this stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. and, and now we can't do that anymore. <laughs> All right. So what are you doing, Benji? Oh, well, uh, uh, after oh, I... oh, they don't typically uh, usually bring radiation detection devices. So no, no. I'll, I'll put a. They, they don't. They don't realize that they're putting their lives in jeopardy. Uh, I, I guess he's. I guess he's just gonna have to stop at three kids. Well. Print out, and not uh, have any grandchildren. Well, I guess you don't usually bring those. A uh, radiation no symbol and put it on the door. 
<laughs> Holy yikes. Okay. Um, right. At least you warned. Yeah, that'll get them to think about it at least. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So, so I come back up into the hallway, mm -hmm. and and uh, and see that somebody's put that note on the door, uh, and I'm like, God, God damn it! Um, I go downstairs and get one of those uh, one of those work orders that Gene used to use. Yeah, and I forge a signature on it, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and. Uh, put that on the door instead and say uh this room is off limits because of of the uh the radiation uh, the radiation. radiation yeah <laughs> um uh so i'm pretending that gene has uh ha has has come in and uh and put that on there um because he's a great scapegoat <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, and then okay. So yeah. All right. So in summary, it's not likely that uh, that your buddy is going to end up moving into the into that condo. Yeah. Well, they, pro they promised it was going to be moving ready. Hopefully, Hopefully not they, moving uh, ready. Need our um, warning. So are you what are you doing anything about Righty's last dictum? Yeah, I'm gonna go do it. All right. So you go downstairs and you touch the contacts. Contacts. Touch your tongue to mine. No, no, not quite. That's a different thing. Um, and He's not going to let me sleep until I do it anyway. So, yeah. so as when you touch the contacts, um, one of the a panel slides open in one of the walls, revealing an inky black portal, which you can't explain and have never seen anything of it like before. And out of the portal steps Jean. And he doesn't speak, but you can hear in his voice, in a voice that sounds exactly like Brady's. Uh, it took you long enough, human. God needs you to bring him a pizza. Right now. What? And I think that's where we'll stop for the week. <laughs> 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 but he didn't even specify the kind. <laughs> and you know it's important because it's God machine technology. Wow. Wow. You better know if the God machine likes anchovies. Um, okay, so um, you are uh, going to need to make me a quick faltering roll because you just helped your conviction touch <laughs> She whatever age it had. Yeah. God damn it. Right. <laughs> so uh, I've got three points of conviction and uh, what's the other part of the roll? That's it. That's that's the roll. Oh, that's the roll. It's not All willpower right. ready. Yeah, it's not willpower possible either. Uh, yeah, I got one sad. success. Oh, okay. So you get a minor instability, but you but he is not uh, wavering. You maintain your your touchdown. You still hate him. Well, I did just just put the blame for something else onto him. Well, I guess they balance out then. Did you have any? Did you have any uh, instability when you did that? I, I did not know. Okay, so yeah, the so order of operations kind of matters here then, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. You'll burn that right off. Okay. Probably um, in a minute. Quite possibly. Um, so, uh, did anyone affirm a wavering touchstone? I think there's only one of you that are wavering, right, Jake? 
You did not. Oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, you didn't really have a cause to, so. No, I, I haven't. I haven't had uh, an opportunity really to go out and see his show. Yep. Um, did no one change the loyalty? I touched on this session. By the way, if you're having trouble hitting a, a loyalty or conviction touchstone, and you're just like, I, I just don't care about this character enough, feel free to eliminate the touchstone one chapter and then pick up a new touchstone in a, in a future chapter especially if you decide that you like a character where you've decided that a character just must die. Um, it's certainly possible to swap out touchstones um, if ones are just not living up to what you're looking for. Um, no one increased magnitude of anything or gain new scars. Um, everyone gets the end of chapter beat. Uh, Aspiration? I just aspiration. Yeah. All of you got your aspirations this, this Oh week. yeah. I need to figure I it out. I found Gene. You found you Gene. Found Gene. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Well, I'm I'm giving it to you anyway because collectively you are deduped dead. Um all right. I'm gonna hand out XP real quick. Beats, I guess, more accurately. So three beats a piece. Oh, okay. So it's up to we'll be at four at EXP. All right. Your word for it, because I've been tracking that. Yeah. So. Yep. Four experience. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So, uh, do we want to do a quick vignette? Uh, sure. Uh, maybe. What's yeah. the vignette? What's the scene? Well, I I have an idea. Well, sure. Uh, we could play out, uh, what, what happened to, uh, uh, with, uh, the disaster that was the, uh, the third wife. <laughs> okay. Um, which part of the disaster specifically? Well, uh, I don't know. I, I guess maybe we don't know enough about that. Yeah. yeah. It just struck me that that would be a really fun vignette to do at some point, but there's still a lot of empty, uh, yeah, empty bits pieces. To do there. Yeah. In yeah. case you're curious, my aspiration for next uh, session. Oh yeah, we're going to be oh, hold on, hold on. So yeah, let's let's do that real quick. Um, I put rescue uh, William. Uh, whoa, 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 hold on. Um, soul is. Rescue William. Um, Tamsin is what? Find if Steve eats souls. Find out if Steve eats souls. <laughs> okay, as, Steve? as the person in, in, in closest geographic proximity to you at most times, uh, I feel like this is a very relevant question. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, I am going to track down this mentor figure from my past. <laughs> Okay, and Benji. Uh, get caught a pizza? <laughs> well, I'm trying to decide if get got a pizza or make sure God doesn't get a pizza <laughs> is, uh, is more appropriate, but. There's a church right next door. You could always. Uh... One of those two. <laughs> got a calzone. Decide whether God gets a pizza. <laughs> yes. All right, um, let's do for, uh, maybe let's do um, William in the Motel. Yeah. Waking up after being drugged. Sure. And what he, what or who he finds. Yeah. All right. Who wants to be William? I was last time, I guess. Okay. I'll be Dunk again. Okay. Who is else that is enough? There? Do we need, do we need yeah, more? Who else could be there? I don't know. I'll be the Yeti. Yeti. 
know. I don't know who else is there. There are probably some other folks around. Is Karen there? Is there like some sort of receiving person? No, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be Karen, but it, it could be it could be other someone from another people? conspiracy. Like some a potential a potential buyer to sell and a salesperson? Sure. I can buy souls, I guess, or people. And so you're gonna sell Jake? Oh yeah, sure. Sure, and I'll narrate or like just describe stuff. So William, you wake up in trussed up in a hotel room or motel room. Um, it's absolutely filthy and there are, you have your, your head is just ringing. Um, you know that you've lost your powers previously. They, they seem to, they, they're within reach, but it, it feels like something is holding you back. It may have something to do with these weird handcuffs that you're wearing. Um, can I see them or are they like behind the back? They're in the back. All right, carry on the scene. Hey, hey, guys, he's uh, he's coming too. Don't try nothing, you little prick. I don't think I can. What'd you do? Don't worry about it. So yeah, this is this is the guy. Uh, his name is William. Uh, if that matters, or. Uh, <laughs> Carry on. Uh, yeah. Uh, he is fully loaded with all sorts of telepathic powers, and uh, I think that he could fulfill just about any. Um, what was his other ability, Eric? He is telekinetic and pyrokinetic. Mm. and pyrokinetic okay yeah uh he, he also can do great things with heat uh so if you have any industrial applications or i don't know human Do have to worry applications about fires on uh, only when i get my powers back not accidental no uh and uh I'm confident that we can come up with a uh, a strong control framework for um, ensuring safety at all times. By control framework, I of course mean blackmail or, you know, other things. I kind of pick his head up by his hair and I say, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. Where are we? Don't worry about it. I, I guess. I mean, he looks pretty broken right now, so. I, I'd want to see a practical. I, I, I mean, a. A demonstration. Yeah, he yeah, ain't gonna I, be. I uh, trying to use those exact. Yeah, it's words, it's. Yeah. He not ain't here. gonna be ready for that for a bit. Not here, but. We have some. We have some video. I think. Maybe. Yeah, we got video. We got uh, video. We'll we'll be able to use. Uh, we we got a facility for uh, for showing off that kind of shit once. Uh, uh, once we got the. The the the, the methods in place. Uh, yeah, we'll, and he's we'll, and he's pliable. We'll definitely be able to make sure that you're able to inspect what he's able to do and safely of course of course of course hmm. he's a wiggly one this one apparently he didn't get his ass beat hard enough last night <laughs> uh, trying to keep sending sending thoughts reaching for it. Hey, you need to take a shit? Don't shit your pants. I ain't cleaning your pants if you shoot, if you do. Huh? Is that a side effect I need to worry about? No, I think he's trying to use his powers. He's, yeah, he he's just uncomfortable right now because he he can't really do the things he's gotten accustomed to doing. It's uh it's pretty normal, it's standard for this kind of a situation. Just just don't don't shit your pants, man. 
and try and move my arms and look at what these handcuffs are. You, you can't get a good view on them, unfortunately. Eventually, they will take off the handcuffs, at the very least to demonstrate your abilities, and you will get a message out. Do they, you know, if I'm using my fingers and feeling what I can of them, do they feel like metal handcuffs, or do they feel like there's something else? They feel like metal handcuffs. Hmm. They're a little bulkier at the at the point in the, where they join. Like it's not a chain; it's a it's like a, a metal box, but it's more than just like an immobilizing handcuff. It's like actually like some device between your wrists. I think we're gonna so, stop. Oh, good. Yeah. Does does this present an application that you think would be useful? Well, let's do a demonstration. I'm I'm worried that he might be too spirited. Of course. We'll just go off to a safe location and then he can we'll, we'll, we'll give you a full demonstration. Excellent. Thanks for your interest. Okay. I'm going to see you. Alright, so we're going to wrap up. Um, yeah. There you go. All right, uh, so we're going to end here for the week. Uh, be back again in two weeks. Anyone have any conflicts two weeks from now? We're all still I don't think so. Isolated. I think we're good. All right. Okay. Um, well, I'm uh, Eric Swatsky. I'm the developer of the DB and the Renegades game. Um, and these are my, this is my regular tabletop group. We have gaming in quarantine, best we can. Uh, Use yourselves one more time. Jake playing Steve. Rachel Joel playing Frank. Benji. Rachel playing Tamsin. Uh, Mark playing Solomon. Okay, thank you.